Wait! Before we start, do you want a bundle of 30 printable Korean PDF cheat sheets, teaching you words and phrases for conversations for free? Then click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get access. Welcome to Korean Culture Class by KoreanClass101.com. Hi everyone, I'm your teacher, Kajin. I'm so excited to share with you our lesson for today. We are going to talk about blood type personalities in Korea. Do you know why blood type A women shouldn't marry blood type B men in Korea? Though it's not scientifically proven, Koreans believe that each blood type has its own unique personality. If you have a Korean friend, you've probably been asked about your blood type. We do this to find out compatibility during blind dates or when we want to get to know someone better. In this video, I'll tell you more about the personalities of each blood type and their compatibility with each other, plus the blood types of Korean celebrities. So make sure you watch it until the end. Now, let's get started. Let's start with A형, which means blood type A. People with blood type A are known to be diplomatic and friendly. However, they are also sensitive and prefer to be alone rather than joining a group. This means they don't like being in crowded areas or parties. They are also fragile-hearted and get hurt easily. People with blood type A aren't very good at expressing themselves compared to other blood types such as type B and O. They are not snobs though, they just like to hide their feelings more. If you meet someone with blood type A, be patient. Because it's said that when they meet new people, it takes time for them to be comfortable and open themselves up more. As you slowly get to know them, you'll find how friendly and down-to-earth these people are. In addition to this, they're also known to be punctual and they always aim for the best result in everything they do. This is sometimes mistaken by people as perfectionism. In Korean, we describe the blood type A personality like this. 성실하다, to be earnest. 성실하다, 성실하다. 신중하다, to be cautious. 신중하다, 신중하다. 고집이 세다. To be stubborn. 예민하다. To be sensitive. 예민하다. 예민하다. Here's a simple sentence. A 형은 성실하고 예민해요. People with type A blood are earnest and sensitive. A 형은 성실하고 예민해요. A 형은 성실하고 예민해요. Now, let's see the compatibility. Blood type A people get on well with type O followed by A. The worst match is with type B. Blood type A Korean celebrities are Nayeon from TWICE, Jungkook from BTS, Aerin from Red Velvet, Chanyeol from EXO. Now, let's see Bihong, which means blood type B. According to the Korean blood type personality chart, blood type B people are independent, passionate about their dreams and aspirations, always like to stimulate their minds and love to express their opinion. They are sometimes perceived as self-centered because they don't seem to take other people's feelings into consideration. We usually believe that men with blood type B are playboys and don't know how to make their relationship last. But don't despair if you are a man with blood type B. Luckily, blood type B personalities are also known for being honest, curious, and loving to be at the center of attention. This means that finding a friend for type B is as easy as pie. In Korean, we describe blood type B personalities like this. 창의적이다, to be creative. 창의적이다, 창의적이다. 낙관적이다, 
to be optimistic. 낙관적이다. 낙관적이다. 이기적이다. To be selfish. 이기적이다. 이기적이다. 무책임하다. To be irresponsible. 무책임하다. 무책임하다. Here's a sample sentence. B형은 창의적이고 낙관적이에요. People with blood type B are creative and optimistic. B형은 창의적이고 낙관적이에요. B형은 창의적이고 낙관적이에요. Now, let's see the compatibility. Blood type B people get on well with type AB followed by O. The worst match is A. Blood type B Korean celebrities are Son Naeun from A Pink, Siu Min from EXO, Tap from Big Bang, Kang Seung Yoon from Winner. Next is O Hyung, which means blood type O. People with blood type O are known to be energetic, practical, and friendly. They are also known to be natural leaders and to express their opinions constructively. They are always in control of their emotions. Their personality may be strong, but deep inside they are very sensitive. They aren't as expressive because they are afraid to be rejected and they hate themselves when they don't do things perfectly. In Korean, we describe blood type O personalities like this. 외향적이다. To be outgoing. 외향적이다. 외향적이다. 타고난 리더이다. To be a natural leader. 타고난 리더이다. 타고난 리더이다. 거만하다. To be arrogant. 거만하다. 거만하다. 질투심이 많다. To be jealous. 질투심이 많다. 질투심이 많다. Here's a sample sentence. 오형은 외향적이고 타고난 리더예요. People with type O are outgoing and natural leaders. 오형은 외향적이고 타고난 리더예요. 오형은 외향적이고 타고난 리더예요. Now, let's see the compatibility. Blood type O people get on well with type A followed by B. The worst match is AB. Blood type O Korean celebrities are Hwasa from Mamamoo, Jonghyun from Twice, Juhi from Momoland, Jackson from God7. And also, lots of Korean actors and actresses have blood type O. For example, Won Bin, Park Hyo Shin, Jang Dong Gon, Lee Min Jung, and Kim Yoo Jung. Now let's see AB Hyung, which means blood type AB. People with blood type AB are believed to be a genius or a psycho. They love to be spontaneous. You'll see them doing one thing now and then jump to another activity later on. Since this blood type is a mixture of type A and B, their mood changes really quick. They find it hard to control their emotions. All situations must be rational for a person with blood type AB. Their moody attitude, sometimes mistaken as being two-faced, makes it difficult for them to meet new friends. In Korean, we describe blood type AB personalities like this. 합리적이다. To be rational. 합리적이다. 합리적이다. 재능이 있다. To be talented. 재능이 있다. 재능이 있다. 비판적이다. To be critical. 비판적이다. 비판적이다. 별나다. 
to be eccentric. 별나다. 별나다. Here's a sample sentence. A형은 합리적이고 재능이 있어요. People with type AB are rational and talented. AB형은 합리적이고 재능이 있어요. AB형은 합리적이고 재능이 있어요. Now, let's see the comparability. Blood type AB people get on well with the same type AB followed by B. The worst match is O. There are more celebrities with blood type AB. V from BTS, Chaeunwoo from Astro, Park Jin-young from JYP, Han Ga-in, Taekyeon, Kim Soo-hyun, Park Bom. Now that you know about the blood type personalities, it's time to learn a few useful Korean sentences. If you want to know your friend's blood type, you can use this line. 혈액형이 뭐야? Which is the informal way to ask, what's your blood type? 혈액형이 뭐야? 혈액형이 뭐야? The polite way is, 혈액형이 뭐예요? 혈액형이 뭐예요? 혈액형이 뭐예요? The formal way is, 혈액형이 어떻게 되세요? 혈액형이 어떻게 되세요? 혈액형이 어떻게 되세요? Here's how to reply to that. Blood type name, 형이야. This is an informal way to say it. Blood type name, 형이야. Blood type name, 형이야. Blood type name, 형이에요. This is a standard form in which to say it. Blood type name, 형이에요. Blood type name, 형이에요. Blood type name, 형입니다. This is a formal way to say it. Blood type name, 형입니다. Blood type name, 형입니다. For example, 방탄소년단 RM의 혈액형은 뭐예요? What's the blood type of RM from BTS? 방탄소년단 RM의 혈액형은 뭐예요? 방탄소년단 RM의 혈액형은 뭐예요? O형이에요. It's O. O형이에요. O형이에요. Learning about blood type belief is so fun and interesting, right? KoreanClass101.com would like to help you learn a lot more, this time about your own blood type and the Korean adjective that best describe your personality. You can download the vocabulary list we prepared for you, which is available online, as well as the ultimate K-pop group guide if you are into K-pop. You will be able to learn interesting facts about your favorite K-pop stars you can download them all for free. That's it for today. I hope you learned a lot in today's lesson. If you are ever not sure or want to ask anything related to the Korean language, please don't hesitate to let us know and we'll help you out as best as we can. Until next time, 다음에 또 봐요! Hi! Welcome to Introduction to Korean. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Jaehee. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Korean writing. Similar to English, Korean also uses an alphabet. However, there is a big difference in the way Korean is written. Unlike the English alphabet, where each letter stands alone, Korean consonants and vowels are combined and grouped together into blocks. Each block represents one syllable. You can think of each block as a square which you need to fill in using consonants and vowels until you've created a syllable. Every block will require a minimum of one consonant and one vowel to create a syllable. Usually though, Korean syllables will consist of three parts, the initial, medial, and final. Initials are written at the top left of the block. Initials will always be consonants. 
Keep in mind though that this doesn't mean that syllables in Korean will always start with a consonant sound. It only means that vowels cannot be written in the initial position. A silent consonant could take this position, thus starting the syllable with a vowel sound. Medials, on the other hand, will always be a vowel. It could be a single vowel or a double vowel, in which case it'll have a gliding sound, sometimes perceived as a Y or a W sound. The most basic Korean block then would consist of a consonant-vowel combination. Ka. Sometimes a block may include a final. Finals are always consonants and are positioned below the vowel at the bottom of the syllabic block. This means that the initial medial final structure would be a combination of a consonant, a vowel or double vowel, and a consonant. Here's a useful phrase which includes various syllabic block structures we've just discussed. 반가워. As you can see, the first block contains the consonant vowel consonant format we just mentioned. 반. The second block is the basic consonant vowel format. The vowel is a vertical one, so the consonant is written on the left. 가. The third block contains a double vowel, so the structure is initial medial, with the initial being a consonant and the medial a double vowel. 워. Altogether, it's 반가워. There are three basic rules for writing Korean characters. They are written from left to right, top to bottom, and from outside to inside. This means that when you start writing a syllable in Korean, you start at the top left corner of the block. Start at the top left corner and work down to the bottom right. Usually, the topmost horizontal line would come first, followed by any vertical strokes. If the consonant starts with a vertical stroke, you would start from the top left and work your way down, followed by any horizontal strokes. Good. As the first consonant is a kyok, you would start from the top left and move toward the right for the first stroke, then move downward. With Korean vowels, similar rules apply. You go from left to right and top to bottom. Most vowels in Korean start with a vertical stroke, however, so you would usually work your way from top to bottom, then left to right. Ah. We said initials, or the consonant, were written first. So if you put these two characters together, ka, with a horizontal vowel, you would write the initial or consonant first, ku, followed by the vowel below, u, together, ku. If you had a final consonant, then the order would be pan. And should the medial be a double vowel with both horizontal and vertical components, the horizontal vowel would be written first, followed by the vertical vowel to the right. Wo. There you have it. Now you know how to write Korean characters within a syllabic block. In this lesson, you learn the basic rules of Korean writing. You learn that Korean consonants and vowels are grouped together to form syllabic blocks. You learn that there are usually three parts to a syllable, the initial, which is always a consonant, a medial, which can be a vowel or a double vowel, and a final, which is always a consonant. And lastly, Korean characters are written from the top left to the bottom right. That's all for this lesson. If you'd like to learn more about Korean writing, check out our Hana Hana Hunger series. In the next lesson, you'll be entering Korean boot camp, where you'll learn useful beginner phrases to get you speaking Korean right away. See you in the next lesson. Bye! 다음에 또 만나요. Did you download your free PDF cheat sheets yet? These conversation cheat sheets are an easy way to speak more because you get cheat sheets for conversational topics like the weather, family, hobbies, and much more. And inside, you'll learn common questions and answers that you'd use in conversations, as well as tons of vocabulary. Don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description to get access. Hi everybody, Jay here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of the most common Korean questions. The question for this lesson is, how do you pronounce the consonant liul? In Korean, the L and R sounds come from the same underlying consonant liul. If you put your tongue in between making an L and making an R, you are almost there. The question is, when does it sound more like R or more like L? If the consonant liul is between two vowels, then it will usually have the English R sound. However, if it is at the beginning or end of the word or precedes a consonant, 
it'll have more of an English L sound. Let's break it down with some examples so you can clearly hear how to pronounce the consonant real. Let's take the word radio, which means radio. And this word, the consonant real, is at the beginning of the word, so it'll have an L sound. Let's do another example with the word mire, meaning future. Here, the real consonant is between the vowels E and E, so it'll have more of an R sound. Let's say it together, mire. Let's do one more example with the L pronunciation. We'll use the word mal, which means word or language. The real consonant is at the end of the word, so it'll be pronounced as L. Let's say it together, mal. Remember that in English, some L sounds are hard, like the L's in ball. In ball, you put some tension in the back of your mouth to make it stronger. In Korean, the L sound is much lighter without any tension. So remembering where not to put the tension, especially at the end of the words, will be really helpful for sounding more natural in Korean. How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요. Hi everyone, I'm Jehui. Welcome back to Korean Top Words. In this lesson, we are going to talk about 10 phrases to use when you are angry. Let's begin. 상관하지 마. It's none of your business. And honestly, like Korean people really like to give some advice, like even though they don't know things very well. So for example, if you worry about something a lot, then probably your friend might want to give you some advice which you don't want to listen to sometimes. So in that case, you can say 상관하지 마. It's none of your business. 닥쳐. Shut up. It's very strong, so I don't want you to say that often. But, you know, sometimes when you have to say, you can say 닥쳐. Or, you know, sometimes we use it as a joke too. Like when you, your friends are talking too much, you know. Um, then you can say 닥쳐, shut up, but only probably to your friend who is a guy. 됐어, enough. Um, you know, when you have to make someone stop saying something because you feel very angry, you can say 됐어, enough, which means I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk with you. Um, so 됐어 means, you know, um, that's the end, like that's enough. 장난해? Are you kidding me? 장난 here means something like playing around. So, like uh, making a joke or kidding you. You know, when you really want to say something like, are you kidding me? You can say 장난해? Or sometimes we put 지금 and say 지금 장난해? Are you kidding me now? 뭐래? Whatever. Yeah, I think this is kind of magic word. Like, you know, when you just want to cut your interest about something, um, then you can just say 뭐래, whatever. Like if someone is talking about some gossips, you know, about you, but you you don't want to show your interest, you can just say 뭐래, whatever. 집어치워, cut it out. So 집어치워 make me imagine something like you grab something and just throw it away. So that kind of image, you know. So if someone is talking about something, if someone is suggesting some idea that really doesn't make any sense and you think that's very useless like a garbage trash you can say the 집어치워 cut it out 너랑 얘기하고 싶지 않아 I don't want to talk to you yeah I think this is kind of the you know direct but acceptable way to say that you know I don't want to talk about something with you you know so I think yeah you can just use it when you just want to be alone and not talking about something um, else. 속상해. I'm upset. 속상해. Um, here we have the word 속, which means something like inside. And 상해 um, is the word that we often use to talk about some rotten apple, something got rotten. You know, something is not going well inside you, which can be translated as I'm upset. I feel so angry, like I feel disappointed. Something like, you know, that you feel uncomfortable. So, you know, when you 
had a very like bad event like you argued with someone else or you just broke up with someone else you can start your conversation by saying 속상해 when you you know talk to your friend in a different time 그래서 뭐? so what? you can just use it as to just say so what because it just means the same uh, we often use it 그래서 뭐? the other person is keep talking to you but if you if it really doesn't make any sense so you can say 그래서 뭐? so what? 네가 뭔데? who do you think you are? I think each people has a different intonation when they say 네가 뭔데? like um, I might say 네가 뭔데? like you know because it's questions so I might rise it up but some people might have a different intonation like for example 네가 뭔데? like you know so you can you can feel their anger when they say 네가 뭔데? because it literally means what are you but you can translate it as who do you think you are? okay that's all 10 phrases to use when you're angry which expression have you used before? if you use some of them let us know in the comments I'll see you in the next video 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다 안녕히 계세요Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui from koreanclass101.com Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say thank you and how to respond. Let's start with the easiest one. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Simply say this phrase to say thank you. If you want to be more formal, you can use this phrase 대단히 감사합니다 대단히 감사합니다 It means thank you very much When you want to say that you deeply appreciate someone or something, make sure to bow a bit or smile That's the best way to demonstrate the highest level of gratitude to sound like a pro, you can add a reason why you are thankful. For example, 와주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. Thank you very much for coming. What about between friends? Here's the way to say it. 고마워. 고마워. It means thanks. Now you know three different ways to say thank you in Korean. But how do you respond if someone thanks you? If someone thanks you in Korean, simply say 아니에요. It means not at all. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what you've learned. Listen to the expression and repeat after me. Thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. The formal way to say thank you very much. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. The casual way to say thanks. 고마워. 고마워. And to respond, just say 아니에요. 아니에요. Well done! Don't be surprised if an older person uses informal language toward you even if you don't know each other. Age plays a big role in Korea, so sometimes older people will use the informal thank you to show their appreciation. You just learned three different ways to say thank you and how to respond in Korean. And if you really want to become fluent and speak Korean from the very first lesson, go to koreanclass101.com. I'll see you next time. 안녕히 계세요. Now that you're finished with this lesson, don't forget, as a free bonus, you get over 30 conversation cheat sheets. But only if you sign up via the link in the description. You'll learn how to have flowing conversations and how to answer the most common questions. You can also print out these colorful cheat sheets to keep as physical study material. So don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get your PDF cheat sheets.
In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 행복한 Happy 행복한 행복한 Happy 저는 행복한 사람입니다. I am a happy person. 저는 행복한 사람입니다. 슬픈 sad 슬픈 슬픈 sad 슬픈 청소년은 혼자 앉아 있다. The sad teenager is sitting alone. 슬픈 청소년은 혼자 앉아 있다. 화난 angry 화난 화난 angry 오늘 아침에 화난 일이 있었다. There was something that made me angry this morning. 오늘 아침에 화난 일이 있었다. Old Closing Old Old Closing 옷 가게에서 일했어. I worked at a clothing store. 옷 가게에서 일했어. 신발 Shoe 신발 신발 shoe 새 신발이 필요해요. I need new shoes. 새 신발이 필요해요. 양말 sock 양말 양말 sock 양말 신었어? Are you wearing socks? 양말 신었어? 속옷 underwear 속옷 속옷 Underwear 내 양말과 속옷은 서랍장 척 안에 있어. My socks and underwear are in the top drawer of my dresser. 내 양말과 속옷은 서랍장 척 안에 있어. 말하다 
talk 말하다 말하다 talk 너랑 말하고 싶지 않아 I don't want to talk to you 너랑 말하고 싶지 않아 주다 give 주다 주다 give 선물을 주다 give a present 선물을 주다 낫다 low 낫다 낫다 low 내 소득은 동료들에 비해 상대적으로 낮다. My income is relatively low compared to my coworkers. 내 소득은 동료들에 비해 상대적으로 낮다. 높다. high. 높다. 높다 하이 반도체 관련주는 늘 가격이 높다 The price of semiconductor relative stocks is always high 반도체 관련주는 늘 가격이 높다 과일 fruit 과일 과일 fruit 접시에 과일을 담아 주세요. Please put the fruits on the plate. 접시에 과일을 담아 주세요. 문어 octopus 문어 문어 octopus 문어가 바닷속을 헤엄치고 있다. The octopus is swimming in the ocean. 문어가 바닷속을 헤엄치고 있다. 상어 shark 상어 상어 shark 상어는 피 비린내로 유인한다. The sharks are lured in by the smell of blood. 상어는 피 비린내로 유인한다. 고래 whale 고래 고래 whale 고래들이 숨을 쉬기 위해 수면으로 올라오고 있다. The whales are coming up for air. 고래들이 숨을 쉬기 위해 수면으로 올라오고 있다. 흐린 cloudy 흐린 흐린 cloudy 저는 흐린 날이 싫습니다. I don't like cloudy days. 저는 
흐린 날이 싫습니다. 시원한 고 시원한 시원한 고 시원한 계곡으로 놀러 가고 싶어요. I want to go to a cool valley and chill out. 시원한 계곡으로 놀러 가고 싶어요. 오이 cucumber 오이 오이 cucumber 오이가 싱싱해요. These cucumbers are fresh. 오이가 싱싱해요. 피망 bell pepper 피망 피망 bell pepper 가장 흔한 피망 색깔은 초록색과 빨간색 그리고 노란색입니다. The most common bell peppers are green, red, or yellow. 가장 흔한 피망 색깔은 초록색과 빨간색 그리고 노란색입니다. 브로콜리 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 브로콜리는 암을 예방해 준다고 해요. Broccoli is said to prevent cancer. 브로콜리는 암을 예방해 준다고 해요. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is K dog K K dog K가 낯선 사람에게 막 짖고 있습니다. The dog is barking harshly at strangers. K가 낯선 사람에게 막 짖고 있습니다. 고양이 cat 고양이 고양이 cat 집에 고양이 한 마리가 있습니다. I have a cat at home. 집에 고양이 한 마리가 있습니다. 
햄스터 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 한국에서는 햄스터를 대형 마트나 애완 동물샵에서 살수 있습니다. Pet hamsters can be bought at large discount department stores or in pet shops in Korea. 한국에서는 햄스터를 대형 마트나 애완 동물샵에서 살수 있습니다. 따뜻한 warm 따뜻한 따뜻한 warm 겨울에는 따뜻한 코트를 입는다. In winter I wear a warm coat. 겨울에는 따뜻한 코트를 입는다. B rain B B rain 거리에 비가 내리고 있다. The rain is falling on the street. 거리에 비가 내리고 있다. Tomato, 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 tomato juice, 한잔 주세요. Please give me a cup of tomato juice. Tomato juice, 한잔 주세요. 딸기, strawberry. 딸기, 딸기, strawberry. 사과 말고 딸기가 좋아요. I like strawberry, not apple. 사과 말고 딸기가 좋아요. Cherry, 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 cherry. 체리 체리 먹고 싶어요. I want to eat cherries. 체리 먹고 싶어요. I child. I I child. 우리 아이는 아주 튼튼하다. My child is very healthy. 우리 아이는 아주 튼튼하다. 친구 friend 친구 친구 friend 공원에서 친구를 만났어요. I met a friend at the park. 공원에서 친구를 만났어요. 성인 adult 성인 성인 adult 비만은 성인병의 주요 원인입니다. Obesity is a main cause of adult illnesses. 비만은 성인병의 주요 원인입니다. 자전거 Bicycle 자전거 자전거 Bicycle 자전거는 차고에 있어요. The bicycle is in the garage. 자전거는 차고에 있어요. 자동차 car 자동차 자동차 
car. 어떤 자동차예요? What kind of car is it? 어떤 자동차예요? 오토바이. motorcycle. 오토바이. 오토바이. motorcycle. 오토바이로 가는 것이 더 빠를 거야. Going by motorcycle will be faster. 오토바이로 가는 것이 더 빠를 거야. 스쿠터. scooter. 스쿠터. 스쿠터. scooter. 도심에서는 스쿠터 타는 것이 편리해요. Scooters are convenient in the city. 도심에서는 스쿠터 타는 것이 편리해요. 배 boat 배 배, boat 낚싯배의 행렬은 아름다운 장관을 연출합니다. The fishing boat parade creates a beautiful scenery. 낚싯배의 행렬은 아름다운 장관을 연출합니다. 해파리 Jellyfish 해파리 해파리 Jellyfish 해파리들이 물속에서 솟아 올라가고 있다. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. 해파리들이 물속에서 솟아 올라가고 있다. 바닷가재 Lobster 바닷가재 바닷가재 Lobster 바닷가재는 정말 비싸요. Lobsters are very expensive. 바닷가재는 정말 비싸요. 개 crab 개 개, crab 개는 보통 옆으로 걸어요. Crabs usually work sideways. 개는 보통 옆으로 걸어요. 거북이 turtle 거북이 거북이 turtle 바다 거북이가 바다에서 수영하고 있다. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. 바다 거북이가 바다에서 수영하고 있다. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody! My name is Sophie Kim. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there's a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. 
You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 시계 Watch 시계 시계 Watch 시계 있어요? Do you have a watch? 시계 있어요? 안경 Glasses 안경 안경 Glasses 저는 안경을 끼지 않아요. I don't wear glasses. 저는 안경을 끼지 않아요. Jacket 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 Jacket이 잘 어울려요. That jacket looks nice on you. Jacket이 잘 어울려요. 받다 Receive 받다 받다 Receive 고백 받다 To receive a confession of love 고백 받다 검색 Search 검색 검색 Search 인터넷으로 검색하면 나와요. It will show up if you search on the internet. 인터넷으로 검색하면 나와요. 데려다 주다 Take 데려다 주다 데려다 주다 Take 집에 데려다 주세요. Please take me home. 집에 데려다 주세요. 약한 Weak 약한 약한 Weak 제 가족은 제 힘이자 약한 부분입니다. My family is my strength and my weakness. 제 가족은 제 힘이자 약한 부분입니다. 세다 Strong 세다 세다 Strong 고릴라는 원숭이보다 힘이 더 세다. Gorillas are stronger than monkeys. 고릴라는 원숭이보다 힘이 더 세다. 춥다. Cold. 춥다. 춥다. Cold. 북극은 여름에도 춥다. The North Pole is cold even in summer. 북극은 여름에도 춥다. 뜨거운 Hot 뜨거운 뜨거운 Hot 나는 뜨거운 목욕을 한다. I take a hot bath. 나는 뜨거운 목욕을 한다. 웃기는 funny. 웃기는 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 
웃기는 funny 웃기는 시트콤은 저를 행복하게 만듭니다. funny sitcoms make me happy 웃기는 시트콤은 저를 행복하게 만듭니다. 복숭아 peach 복숭아 복숭아 peach 저는 복숭아에 알레르기가 있어요. I'm allergic to peaches. 저는 복숭아에 알레르기가 있어요. 오렌지 orange 오렌지 오렌지 orange 저는 아침 식사와 함께 오렌지 주스를 그리고 점심 식사와 함께 사과 주스를 마십니다. I drink orange juice with breakfast and apple juice with lunch. 저는 아침 식사와 함께 오렌지 주스를 그리고 점심 식사와 함께 사과 주스를 마십니다. 감자 potato 감자 감자 potato 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. Fried potato is not good for your health. 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. 콩 soybean 콩 콩, soybean 대두는 콩의 일종입니다. A soybean is a kind of bean. 대두는 콩의 일종입니다. 야채 vegetable 야채 야채 vegetable 야채 볶음을 먹었어요. I ate fried vegetables. 야채 볶음을 먹었어요. 소 cow 소 소, cow 소들이 들판에서 풀을 뜯고 있다. The cows are grazing in the field. 소들이 들판에서 풀을 뜯고 있다. 돼지, pig 돼지 돼지 pig 돼지는 하늘을 볼수 없어요. Pigs cannot look up at the sky. 돼지는 하늘을 볼수 없어요. 말 horse 말 말, horse. 말 타본 적 있어요? Have you ever ridden a horse before? 말 타본 적 있어요? 눈, snow. 눈, 눈. snow 나무에 눈이 내리고 있다. The snow is falling in the woods. 나무에 눈이 내리고 있다. 
Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at koreanclass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae Hee. In this video, you'll learn about top 25 Korean verbs. Let's get started. 가다, to go. So when you are going to somewhere, you can just say something something e 가다. So you're with your Korean friends and now you want to go to a club. You can say 클럽에 가고 싶어. 클럽에 가자. 클럽에 갈까? 가시다, to have. So in Korean drama, like there's a girl who want to get married with a rich guy and she would say 저 남자 갖고 싶어. I want to have the guy. 나오다, to come out. You are moving out of the place, you can just say 나오다. 놀다, to play. Let's say you want to hang out with your friend. Your friend is at home sleeping. You just call him and just say 나와, 놀자. That means like to come out and hang out with me. 놓다, to put. So when you just put something, you can just say 놓다. 마우스를 놓다. 아이패드를 놓다. 대답하다, to answer. You're in a classroom and you ask a very difficult question to your teacher. He doesn't answer, then you say 대답해 주세요, please. You can use it only to mean to answer a question. 돕다, to help. You need some help in Korean. Then you can say 도와주세요. And the other person say 아, 도와드릴게요. Which means, you know, I'll help you. So usually we say 도와주다a little bit more, which really means to give a help. 듣다, to hear, to listen. So, 음악을 듣다, ums, 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 ums. I'm listening to koreanclass101.com podcast. 마시다, to drink. You can use this verb for any types of drinks. So, water, or soju, 맥주, any types of. So we also use the verb 먹다 to talk about beverage too. So you can use 마시다 or 먹다. <laughs> That's how we drink soju. <laughs> 만나다, to meet. So even if you meet someone for the first time, second time, third time, you can say 만나다. You meet someone the first time, 만나서 반가워요. Second time, 만나서 반가워요. Third time, 만나서 반가워요. Every time you can use it. 만나서 반가워요. 말하다, to say, to speak. 마이크에 말하다. 음시, 음시, 음시. <웃음> 만나서 반가워요. 이름이 뭐예요? 먹다, to eat. 잘 먹겠습니다. 음. 먹다, 잘 먹었습니다. You can use it to mean to drink. So you can say 물을 먹다, to. 모르다, to not know. 모르겠어요, I don't know. You can also say 모르겠어요. I don't understand. 잘 모르겠어요. 받다, to receive. 선물을 받겠습니다. 선물, 선물. 오. 보다, to try. For example, you can say, 춤을 쳐보다. 보다, to see. So you see something like you watch TV, you see a movie, you see, you know, your loved one. You can always use this one verb, 보다. So, 영화를 보다. 텔레비전을 보다, 드라마를 보다, 콘서트를 보다. All with the verb 보다. I watch some drama then. 사용하다, to use. For any type of tools, you can this verb and also with a language. For example, 한국어를 사용하다. And when you dance, you can say 몸을 사용하다. 아니다, to not be. Anything like no, not, you can just use this. You don't like this food, you can say 아니, 아니야. You don't like it. 알다, to know. Someone is talking about things that you know, boring. You can say, 알아, 알아, I know, I know. Your parents are talking about things that you have to do. You can say, 알아요, 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 알아요. I know, I know. 안타, to not do. You can use this with any types of verbs. For example, 먹지 않다, 보지 않다, 가지 않다, 춤추지 않다. 오다, to come. 
가다 was to go, 오다 is for to come. So in the morning, 학교에 가다. But in the afternoon, 집에 오다. 있다, to be. This verb is the magic word because it can mean there is, to be, using the same word. So simply just say the noun for the object and say 있다. 사람이 있다, 나무가 있다, 학교가 있다, 집이 있다. 좋아하다, to like. So you can just put any type of object and say 좋아하다. For example, 김치를 좋아하다, 밥을 좋아하다, 춤을 좋아하다. If you want to date with someone, then you can just start with this as a first question. 뭘 좋아해? What do you like? 주다, to give. 선물을 받다, and next day, 선물을 주다. So when someone is moving in and you are invited to the home party, you have to bring a pack of toilet papers. 두루마기 휴지를 주다. For those who just moved in. 하다, to do. In Korean, we have a lot of verbs with this word inside. 하다. For example, 노래하다, 청소하다, 공부하다. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean verbs that we have. And thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe. I will see you next time. 감사합니다. Bye, guys. Hi guys, I'm Caitlin. 안녕하세요, 케이진입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin. So today I'm going to be sharing some interesting facts about BTS and Caitlin will be sharing some new Korean words with you. So I am a big fan of BTS. I'm what's called an ARMY. Um, and recently, since I'm an ARMY, I decided to start studying Korean with Korean Class 101. So Caitlin, do you know anything about BTS? Actually, I don't know about BTS very well. I know they are very popular, but I don't watch TV very often, mm. and I don't know about Korean idols very well. Yeah, so you said ARMY, so mm. what does that mean? I mean, are you a soldier or something? No, so ARMY is just the name that's given to the fans or fandom of BTS. Kajin, what is ARMY in Korean? Actually, I searched for that on the internet, and it's just AMI. Oh. <laughs> It's just army in the Korean pronunciation. Mm. So can you pronounce this word, ami? Ami? Hmm. Good. Wow, nice pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Caitlin and I created this ebook, 217 Facts About BDS for KoreanClass101.com. Okay, so in this video, we're going to take some of the facts out of the book and share it with you guys. So Caitlin, where can they find this book? So you can download this book for free on koreanclass101.com slash bts. Click the link in the description here or here or here somewhere. So Kajin, do you know what BTS stands for? So their Korean name is 방탄소년단. So 방, B, 탄, T, 소년단, S. So it's BTS. It translates to um, Bulletproof Boy Scouts. So why is it BTS? Um, well, since it translates to Bulletproof Boy Scouts, I heard that they chose this name because they wanted to shield all of their fans, oh. so... Bang! <laughs> Bang! Bang <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know how many members are in BTS? Yes, there are seven members, right? Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you name all of them? Ah, oh, I can try. Red Monster, mm. Jin, V, J-Hope, Jungkook, mm. Min Yoongi, Sugar, mm. Ah Sugar, right, 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 and Jimin. Yeah, Jimin. Ah, I like Jimin. Ah. So, who do you think is the most popular in Asia or America out of all of the members? I saw a lot of comments about Jimin. So I guess he's the most popular, mm. and I personally like the name Red Monster. <laughs> it's so catchy, isn't it? So usually Jungkook is the most popular, oh. but the Maknae line is. Mm out of popularity wise is the most popular. So Jimin, V, and Jungkook, but Jungkook is usually the highest. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Why is Jungkook popular? So Jungkook is called the golden maknae, so mm -hmm. he's pretty much good at everything, and I guess people are just attracted to people who are good at everything. <laughs> everything? What do you mean? Like they, he can dance well, sing well, mm -hmm. rap well? Yeah. Well, well. Yeah, he can dance, he can sing, and he can rap. So 
in their earlier songs, he's seen rapping because he was originally going to be a rapper, but then they changed it up and he ended up being a singer. Kajun, how do you say to sing in Korean? It's 노래하다. 노래하다. 노. 응. 노래하다. 노래하다. So 노래 means a song and 하다 means to do. So it literally means to do a song. Oh, okay. So a fact that you might not know about Jungkook is that he has a huge crush on Sailor Moon. Oh, me too. <laughs> you too? I love Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah, I grew up watching Sailor Moon. It was a pretty popular anime in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, and she's pretty. <laughs> yeah, one time Namjoon dressed up as Sailor Moon and <laughs> for Jungkook, so. What? Wait, wait, who is Namjoon? Namjoon is Rat Monster. Oh, okay, so it's his real name. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, by the way, who is your favorite member? Okay, so my favorite member is also called My Bias, and my bias is Kim Namjoon. So, Rap Monster, right? Yes. So, why do you like him? So, he's seen as the intellectual of the group, and mm -hmm. I just find that very attractive. Um, he's also very sweet and very accommodating to the international fans, and I'm from America, so that's nice. <laughs> so, that's why I like him a lot. I saw a lot of... BTS music videos yesterday, and then in all the music videos, he's the first one appearing, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe lots of songs are from rap. Yeah, he's the leader in the group, and him and Suga uh, write a lot of the songs, so he probably has a hand in choosing who goes first, and so. Yeah, I like him. He seems very charismatic. So he said he has an IQ of 148. Mm, He's yeah. very smart. Yeah. So he actually was on a game show called Problematic Men for a while as a guest, but they stopped inviting him because he kept beating the professors that were also on the game show. So wow. <laughs> Really? Yeah. yeah. He's really smart. Mm. He's a lead rapper. What's rapper in Korean? It's rap pop. That part is easier than other mm. <laughs> Korean <laughs> words, I guess. <laughs> so how many rappers are there? There's three. Three? That's a lot. There's Rap Monster, Sugar, and J-Hope. So why is his name Suga? Not Sugar or something like <laughs> Suga. I, I first, when uh. I saw the Korean name Suga, I thought it's Sugar. But it's not Sugar, it's just Suga. Uh, sugar? I'm assuming because it sounds <laughs> more like a rapper name than Sugar. <laughs> yeah, Sugar sounds so cute mm. to like a girl name. Yeah. So he got his name from the CEO of Big Hit, which is the company that BTS works with. And um, he got it because he's so pale and he's really sweet. So the CEO decided to call him Sugar. Oh, <laughs> I love his hobby. Doing nothing when mm. he has free time. He has the same hobby as me. His favorite thing to do is sleeping, and he actually has a really foul mouth, so the other members are really scared to wake him up. <laughs> What's to sleep in Korean? It's 잠자다. 잠자다. 잠, sleep, 자다. 잠자다. 잠자다. It's 잠자다, but you can also meet 잠. So you can just say 자다. Oh. And it says that when he's nervous, he speaks with a Satori accent. Ah, Saturi Ogyang. Oh, okay. How do you Sa say it? Saturi Ogyang. So I guess he's from a different city, not Seoul, right? He's from Daegu. Oh, Daegu. Okay. Daegu. Daegu. I see, yeah. So Daegu is between Seoul and Busan. So Seoul is northern South Korea, and then Busan is southern South Korea. Okay. So it's between them. So I said, I would say it's middle of Korea. And they have really strong accent. Mm. Well, so some people think that accent is really manly. And for girls, some people think it's really cute. Uh -huh. So who is the last rapper? So the last rapper is J-Hope, and he's mm -hmm. also the lead dancer. Mm -hmm. So um, before they debuted, actually, him and Jungkook, their roles were supposed to have been switched. He was supposed to be a singer, mm. and Jungkook was supposed to have been the rapper. He's called the the sunshine and the hope of 
the the group and the fandom. Sunshine. Yeah, he's always very bright and very happy. Um, that's his concept. He's a very happy person. He doesn't show his sadness or anything. He hates he hates exercising and working out. Well, he's very similar to me. But is he a main dancer? Yeah, he probably sees dancing as more of a fun activity rather than exercising. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we covered four members. Who are the rest three members? The other three members are Jimin, V, and Jin. Could you tell me more about Jimin? I saw him a lot on mm, a Facebook and YouTube comments. I guess he's really popular too. Yeah, he's also a singer like Jungkook, but he's also one of the main mm -hmm. dancers. Mm -hmm. So J-Hope's seen as the best dancer, and then Jimin and Jungkook are seen as the second best dancers. Jimin is the member who is known for doing fan service. Mm. What is fan service exactly? <laughs> so fan service is like ripping your shirt off and like showing abs and stuff. So <laughs> he has the so good fan service. <laughs> he has really nice abs, so he's the one for that always shows his abs. <laughs> what is fan service in Korean? It's so easy. Fan service. Fan service. Right, we don't have F sound in Korean pronunciation, so we just use P sound instead. Oh. So it's pen service. Okay. Pen service. Can you do it? Pen service. Hey. <laughs> oh, but he views himself as fat and he has abs. So he exercises a lot and mm -hmm. when they first debuted, he had a rounder face. Oh. He had cheeks. It's his mochi phase, but he dieted a lot to get rid of his cheeks and mm -hmm. to get his abs. Mm -hmm. So he he's now very thin and a lot of his fans encourage him to eat more. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> so he shouldn't view himself as fat now. No, and not even in the beginning. He was always very skinny. His favorite song to karaoke is Look At Me Only by Taeyang because he has previously had a one-side love. Why? The, the girl didn't like Jimin? He's cute and <laughs> cool. I know. I don't know why. I don't understand. Well, <laughs> never happened now. Maybe she's regretting now. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe yeah, she's married. <laughs> How come? <laughs> so what's one-sided love in Korean? It's 싹사랑. 싹사랑. Right. This, uh, the pronunciation of Zak is not easy. Mm. Uh, in romanization, we just say JJ. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's not easy. We also have pronunciation series on, on the website, so please check it out. So Zak means one side. Mm. And Sarang means love. Mm. So it's one side love, Zak Sarang. Now I've heard Sarang He is love. Yeah. 사랑해 is from 사랑하다. 하다 is to do, we just learned. Mm. So 사랑해 means do love. Okay. I love you. 사랑해. So let's talk about the next member, V. He's the sub-vocalist. He's, he, he's ranked as one of the lower vocalists, but he has a deeper voice, so mm. he's really needed in the group to balance out the, the higher voices like Jungkook and Jimin and mm -hmm. Jin. Why is his name V? His name is apparently uh, V because it stands for victory. This means victory in Korea. We just do it when we take a picture and say V kimchi. This is like peace in, in America. Oh, okay. Yeah. He grew up on a farm. He did. And he probably had the most difficulty going into training because he grew up on a farm and then he went to Seoul, which is very different than a farm. <laughs> and his mother bought him a jacket, a really expensive jacket, because she didn't want him to feel out of place in such a crazy city. Oh, so he doesn't, uh, she doesn't want V look like a country boy. Yeah, and so all of the other members thought he was rich when he <laughs> showed up. <laughs> Yeah, he said he's obsessed with Gucci. Mm, yeah, he really loves Gucci now. And he also said when his teaser image was released, five personal fan clubs were created. Mm. Is he good looking? 
So V and Jin are considered to be the really two good-looking ones in the group. I mean, all of them are very good-looking, but they're the most good-looking. <laughs> so the last member we're going to go over is Jin. He's a singer. <laughs> He's also categorized as the worst dancer. <laughs> worst dancer? Him and Rat Monster are the two worst dancers. People usually say Rat Monster is a little bit better, but not much. They both have like signature really bad dances. <laughs> really? When I watch music video, everyone was so good. I know. They're all so good, but they're like, no, Jin and Rat Monster, they're bad. <laughs> two of his nicknames are Pink Princess mm -hmm. and Princess Jin. Princess Jin. Princess. Yeah. Jin loves to be a princess. He, absolute princess. He's always in photo shoots and he has like flower crowns on and stuff and he's just posing like a princess. So what's princess in Korean? It's Gongju. Gongju. Mm, that's good. Gongju. Yeah. Gongju means a princess. Okay. If he was a girl, he said he would date Jimin mm. because he's shy and someone like Jimin would help him open up and be social. Mm. So Jin said that if he was a girl, he'd like to j date Jimin because Jimin is a lot more outgoing than him and Jin is very shy and he'd think that he'd be more outgoing with Jim Jimin. Jimin is a little bit more talkative, but I, I don't really see Jin as shy. He He's very flirtatious with the camera. He He's always like giving kisses and... He's the one who is good at fan service, right? Jimin is the one that does fan service, but Jin Jin always is like winking at the camera and like giving kisses. So I don't really see him as shy. I don't know why he thinks of himself as shy. So Kajin, did you learn anything interesting about BTS today? So yeah, before talking to you, I thought they are just boy band mm. like who is good at dancing and singing. But I can see that they have all different roles, and that was very interesting. And they are all cool and attractive. I like them. <laughs> mm, me too. Join <laughs> ARMY! Join <laughs> ARMY! <laughs> okay. So now that you know all of the members, who do you like the best? I like Rat Monster. <laughs> so why do you like Rat Monster? Um, he's very charismatic. And also, I like his rap style. Also, he's from my city. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Ilsan and I live in Ilsan. Maybe I met him somewhere on the street. So I hope you learned some new and interesting facts about BTS. And if you want to learn more about BTS, don't forget to download this ebook. It's free and you can download it on koreanclass101.com slash BTS. Link is in the description here. Here? <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> around this video, so please download it for free. 217 facts. <laughs> so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about Korean, please visit koreanclass101.com. See you next time! Bye! -bye. Bye. My favorite place in Korea is home! <laughs> Living room! And I just lie on the sofa, just like the guy who is... Who, who, who was the guy who wants to take a rest uh, whenever sugar. he has... Sugar, just like sugar. I love taking a rest at home. It's my favorite place in Korea. Yay! Yay. Go BTS! <laughs> Yay. Yay! Finny! Finny! Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Korean listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 서점에서 여자가 점원에게 무언가를 부탁하고 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 죄송합니다. 그 선반에 있는 책을 보고 싶습니다. 어떤 책이요? 자동차에 대한 책이요. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 이거요? 네, 맞아요. 여기 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 
서점에서여자가점원에게무언가를부탁하고있습니다그여자는어떤책을보고싶어합니까죄송합니다그선반에있는책을보고싶습니다어떤책이요자동차에대한책이요잠시만기다려주세요이거요네맞아요여기있습니다 Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi, welcome to Introduction to Korean. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone. I'm Jehui. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Korean pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to the manner in which a word is spoken, so don't focus on reading what's on screen. Instead, focus on listening and repeating. Korean is referred to as a syllable timed language. What this means is that the syllables in Korean follow each other at regular intervals, usually with the same amount of time allocated for each syllable. Each syllable is pronounced for an equal amount of time. Since Korean is a syllable timed language, there is no word stress. English, on the other hand, is a stress timed language. Syllables that are stressed are valued greater than syllables that are unstressed. Individual. The stressed syllable v in individual is deemed more important, so it's pronounced longer than all other syllables. Listen to it again. Individual. This gives English a Morse code like rhythm, where the pace is sometimes fast and at other times slow. Compare this once again with Korean, which is even throughout. Individual. When pronouncing Korean words, focus on giving equal time to each syllable as you say the characters out loud. There are 10 basic vowel sounds in Korean, which are used to create a total of 21 vowel sound combinations. Let's take a look at how some of the basic vowels are pronounced. Ah. O, O, U, U, E. There are also iotized vowel sounds in Korean. This simply means that there's an added Y sound. Ya, Yo, Yo, U. Finally, there are diphthongs, which are two vowels pronounced closely together to form a gliding sound. Wa, Wo. These are some of the basic vowel sounds in Korean. There are 14 basic consonants that produce a total 19 consonant sounds in Korean. All of these sounds are categorized into nasal, plain, aspirated, or tense sounds. You can think of these categories as going from soft to harder sounding consonants. Nasal consonants are consonant sounds which are pronounced through the nose. These consist of M, N, and NG type sounds. N, M, U. Plain consonant sounds are called that because they do not have special features added to them. Think of the T sound in stand or the P sound in span. Ku, du, bu, su, zu. Aspirated consonant sounds, on the other hand, have an added turbulent sound. These sounds are like the English T sounds in tuck or take or the P in puck. Ku, tu, pu. Aspirated sounds are pronounced with a big burst of air, unlike plain sounds, which do not have this quality. Compare the two categories of sounds. Tense consonants, also known as double consonants, are pronounced with a stiffer voice. More pressure is built up and it's released much more quickly than plain sounds. Korean has a handful of sounds that are similar to English. They're not identical, however, so don't make the mistake of pronouncing them as such. One of the most unique sounds in Korean is the consonant liul. Lu. This consonant is often romanized as an R or an L, but there isn't an equivalent sound in English. Lama. This sound is actually somewhere between an L and an R sound. When pronouncing this sound, your tongue should strike the gum ridge behind your upper teeth in a quick, rapid motion. Listen and repeat after J. 
ลูลูลามาลามา Well done. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that Korean is a syllable-timed language. You also learned the different categories for vowel and consonant sounds in Korean, and you discovered that there are some consonant sounds which do not have an English equivalent. We've covered only the basics of Korean pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out the entire course we created, named the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. In that course, we cover and break down all the sounds in the Korean language, showing you mouth and tongue positioning, and giving you tips to help you perfect your Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of Korean grammar, where you'll learn about Korean word order and how to build basic phrases in Korean. See you in the next lesson. Bye. 다음에 또 만나요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi, everybody. My name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 core Korean words and phrases. Video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 손, hand, 손, 손, hand. 왼손 left hand 왼손 팔 arm 팔팔 팔. arm 근육질의 팔 muscular arm 근육질의 팔 팔 foot 팔팔 팔. foot 오른발 right foot 오른발 다리 leg 다리 다리 leg 긴 다리 long legs 긴 다리 손가락 finger 손가락 손가락 finger 새끼 손가락 pinky finger 새끼 손가락 등 back 등등 back 등이 아파요. My back hurts. 
등이 아파요. 배. stomach. 배. 배. stomach. 배가 아파요. My stomach hurts. 배가 아파요. 가슴. Chest. 가슴. 가슴. Chest. 가슴 X-ray. X-ray of a chest. 가슴 X-ray. 1월. January. 1월. 1월. January. 이곳은 1월에 정말 춥습니다. It's very cold here in January. 이곳은 1월에 정말 춥습니다. 2월 February 2월 2월 February 2월은 28일밖에 없는 가장 짧은 달입니다. February is the shortest month with 28 days. 2월은 28일밖에 없는 가장 짧은 달입니다. 3월 March 3월 3월 March 3월 17일 March 17th 3월 17일 4월 April 4월 4월 April 4월 1일 April 1st 4월 1일 5월 May 5월 5월 May 5월의 꽃 May flowers 5월의 꽃 6월 June 6월 6월 June 우리는 6월에 결혼할 것입니다. We are getting married in June. 우리는 6월에 결혼할 것입니다. 7월 July 7월 7월 July 7월은 31일이 있는 일곱 개의 달 중에 하나입니다. July is one of seven months with 31 days. 7월은 31일이 있는 일곱 개의 달 중에 하나입니다. 
power, August, power, power, August. 학교는 8월에 닫습니다. The school is closed in August. 학교는 8월에 닫습니다. 9월 September 9월 9월 September 오늘은 9월 10일 토요일입니다. Today is Saturday, September 10th. 오늘은 9월 10일 토요일입니다. 10월 October 10월 10월 October 할로윈은 10월 30일입니다. Halloween falls on October 31st. 할로윈은 10월 31일입니다. 11월 November 11월 11월 November 추수감사절은 11월 24일 목요일입니다. Thanksgiving Thursday November 24th 추수감사절은 11월 24일 목요일입니다. 10 2월 December 12월 12월 December 12월 31일은 새해 전날입니다. December 31st is New Year's Eve. 12월 31일은 새해 전날입니다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time. 잘 가요. You are sitting on a train that is about to arrive at the next train station. Suddenly, a notice appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next stop is the last stop. 다음 역은 종점입니다. Imagine you're in a Korean restaurant. You are ready to order and need to get the waiter's attention. What do you say? 안녕하세요, 이재입니다. Jewi here. Anyone can learn how to order food in a Korean restaurant. In this lesson, you'll learn how. Mark and Karen are getting ready to order at a Korean restaurant. 
Let's watch. 아주머니 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Now with English. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Here are the key words from the scene. 주문, 주문, order, 주문, 주문. 주문, 셀프, 셀프, 셀프 서비스, 셀프, 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 물, 물, 워터, 물, 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 김치. 김치, 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 순두부, 순두부, 소프트푸, 순두부, 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 찌개. 찌개, soup, stew, 찌개, 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 더, 더, more, 더, 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 아주머니, 아주머니, casual way to say Mrs. 아주머니 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 드리다 드리다 to give 드리다 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 And now a breakdown of some of the Korean you heard in the scene. In the scene, how did Mark order? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. It means one kimchi stew and one soft tofu stew, please. When you order food, first say the name of the food. For example, kimchi jjigae if you want to have kimchi stew. Then say how many you need, for example, hana for one, duge for two, sege for three. Then simply add juseyo, which literally means please give. If you want to order two kimchi stews, you can say kimchi jjigae duge juseyo. When you order Two or more items, you can connect food names with the word rang, which means end. Using this pattern, if you want to order one kimchi and one bowl of rice, you can say kimchi hana rang, bap hana juseyo. Now you try, say Mark's line. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. What did Mark say when he wanted to get more kimchi? 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. 김치 좀 주세요. 김치 좀 주세요. It means, please give me more kimchi. 
Mark wanted to get more kimchi, so he said the word kimchi first. As you know, kimchi is the name of a very common Korean side dish. This phrase ends with the verb chuseyo. It's an honorific form of the verb chuda, which means to give. In this line, Mark also uses the word chom. In this context, it's used to ask more politely. If you don't use the word chom and just say kimchi juseyo, kimchi please, it sounds a bit rude because it's very direct. By adding the word chom, you can make your request less direct and therefore more polite. Now you try. Say Mark's line asking for more kimchi. Now the lesson focus. Here's how to order food at a Korean restaurant. Korean restaurants are a little different from other types of restaurants. When you're ready to order in a Korean restaurant, you simply need to raise your hand and say 저기요, which means excuse me there. If you're eating in a traditional Korean restaurant, it's normal to address the female staff in the restaurant as 아주머니 if they are over the age of 30. To male staff, you can use 아저씨. Listen again to what Mark said. 아주머니 여기 주문이요. If it is too loud for the waiters to hear you, call the staff again. It's not rude. Some of the most popular Korean dishes people order are kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew and sundubu jjigae or stew with soft tofu. These foods are a bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy foods, look for a dish called bulgogi. Bulgogi is sliced and seasoned barbecued beef. This is another popular dish among foreigners. If you are not quite sure what to order, ask the waiter, 여기 뭐가 가장 맛있어요? It means, what's the most delicious food here? And they will tell you a few of their most popular dishes. When you finally decide on what to order, say the name of the food you want and say, 주세요. Listen to what Mark said. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. Simply say the name of the food and add, 주세요, meaning, please give. If you just need one kimchi stew, for example, you can say, 김치찌개 하나 주세요. Most dishes are served with a serving of rice and assorted side dishes for free. These side dishes are called banchan. They can be refilled for free. You can get more by saying the food name and 좀더 주세요. For example, if you need more kimchi, you can say 김치 좀더 주세요. Please give us more kimchi. If you need a bottle of water, say 물좀더 주세요. It means please give me a bottle of water. Sometimes, restaurants have a sign that says 물은 셀프입니다. This literally means water is for self-service. They post it to say you should pour your own water, so look around first for the sign before you ask them to bring water. Now it's time to practice your new ability. You're in a traditional Korean restaurant and you've called the waitress over. Ready? Here we go. You want to order one kimchi stew. How will you order? Kimchi jjigae hana juseyo. You've run out of side dishes and need them refilled. What should you say? Kimchi jom to juseyo. Great job. Kimchi jjigae hana juseyo. Kimchi jom to juseyo. 잘했어요. Now, watch the scene one more time. After that, you'll be ready to order food at a Korean restaurant. 안녕히 계세요. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Hi 
everyone! Welcome to the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. In this series, you'll master Korean pronunciation. Proper pronunciation is essential in Korean, and in this series, you'll learn it in a fast, comprehensive, and easy way. In this first lesson, you'll learn two key points for mastering Korean pronunciation. The first key point is to master the pronunciation of 24 basic Korean letters. The Korean alphabet has 14 basic consonants and 10 basic vowels. One letter represents each of these sounds. These are then written out in blocks to form each syllable. Here's a sample character. This block has two letters, one on top and one at the bottom. The letter on top is the consonant N. Below it is the vowel U. Combined, you read the block NU. Listen to the native Korean speaker. Ni, u, nu. You can add another letter to the bottom of this block. Compare the top and bottom letters. Can you read the block? The bottom letter is the N sound, just like the top letter. Combining these with the vowel in the middle, you pronounce the whole block nun, which means I in Korean. You will see many different block arrangements in Korean, but once you master the pronunciation of the 24 basic letters, you can read any of these blocks in Korean. The second key point is, each syllable in Korean is pronounced for the same length of time with equal stress. For example, when you say camera in English, you put stress on ka and say it for longer than the other syllables of the word. Camera. But in Korean, each syllable is pronounced for the same amount of time and gets equal stress. Listen to the word camera in Korean. Camera. This principle applies throughout the entire sentence, not just for individual words. Listen to the Korean sentence. Now to close this lesson, here's a question for you. Why should you, including advanced speakers, spend time on learning proper pronunciation? The answer? You will be understood, and this will help you build more confidence as you communicate in Korean. For beginners, you're on the path to learning proper pronunciation. And for more advanced students, this is a chance to finally master Korean pronunciation. Now you know the basics of Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, you'll learn the top five pronunciation mistakes that Korean learners make. You'll want to avoid these at all costs, so please stay tuned. What is the hardest part of Korean pronunciation? Tell us about it in the comments. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. 실례하지만 한국어 하세요? If you understood this, you can say 예, yeah, meaning yes. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me, do you speak English? This uses the phrase 실례하지만, one way to say excuse me in Korean. Today, we are going to learn several ways to apologize in Korean. Are you ready? Let's start! First is 실례합니다. It means excuse me. If you want to add something to the end, tweak it to 실례하지만. Excuse me, but... Here, 실례 means excuse and 합니다 means to do. So 실례합니다 means do excuse or excuse me. If you change 합니다 with 하지만, which means but, you can say 실례하지만. It means excuse me but. Saying 실례합니다 doesn't mean you've done something wrong. It just means you have a question or favor to ask that may require someone to take some trouble for you. If you've actually done something rude or if you made mistakes, you use a different phrase. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 
This is the phrase you would use if you ever bumped into somebody on the street in Korea. 죄송합니다. If you say 실례합니다 in this situation, the person you bumped may not get that you're apologizing and may instead think that you bumped them on purpose to ask a favor. How about saying excuse me to get a waiter or bartender's attention? Koreans use a couple of different phrases for that. The first is 여기요. 여기요. That means over here, please. It may sound a little rude in English, but in Korean it's fine. Another version that sounds slightly more polite is 저기요. 저기요. That means excuse me, you there. It may sound even more rude in English, but in Korean it's no problem. When the waiter is away from you, you can use this phrase, 저기요. You don't have to wait for the waiter to come to you. Just speak up with 여기요 or 저기요. Between friends, you can say 미안해. Sorry. 미안해. 미안해 is an informal way to apologize to someone. Using 미안 instead of 죄송 suggests that you've hurt someone's feelings, not just inconvenience them. Now it's time for Amy's insights. Want to sound more sincere when you apologize? Just add 정말, which means truly. 정말 미안합니다. I'm truly sorry. 정말 미안합니다. You can use 정말 with 미안합니다 and 죄송합니다 but not with 실례합니다. Do you know anything about counting in Korean? How about the name of this series? 3분 한국어 See, you already know a number, 3, which means 3. In the next lesson, we will learn how to count from 1 to 10 in Korean. I'll be waiting for you in our next 3분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Love these lessons? Want more? You'll find the rest of the Korean writing lessons on koreanclass101.com. So sign up for your free lifetime account and unlock the full course in seconds. You also get audio and video lessons that get you speaking from your very first lesson and teach you real conversations. You'll get PDF lesson notes, cheat sheets, study tools, and much more. Click the link in the description below and sign up for your free lifetime account. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started! First is... 안녕하세요 Hello! 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? Hello. How have you been? 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? Excuse me. How much is this? 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 
죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. I'm sorry. It was a typo. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. Good night, Grandma. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? It's been a long time. How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? 네. Yes. 네. 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 Yes. 네, 이거로 주세요. Yes, this one, please. 네, 이거로 주세요. 아니요? No. 아니요? 아니요? No. 아니요? 아직 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't eaten yet. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. 고마워요. Thank you. 고마워요. 고마워요. Thank you. 초대해줘서 고마워요. Thank you very much for the invitation. 초대해 줘서 고마워요. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 소피입니다. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 존입니다. I'm John. 저는 존입니다. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. Goodbye. See you again. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. 나쁜 Bad 나쁜 나쁜 Bad 
나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. Be careful of bad people. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. 좋은 good 좋은 좋은 good 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. My teacher is a good person. 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. 예쁜 pretty 예쁜 예쁜 pretty 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. I have a pretty girlfriend. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. 못생긴 ugly. 못생긴 못생긴 ugly. 못생긴 얼굴 ugly face 못생긴 얼굴 쉬운 easy 쉬운 쉬운 easy 쉬운 시험 Easy exam. 쉬운 시험. 어려운. Difficult. 어려운. 어려운. Difficult. 어려운 문제. Difficult problem. 어려운 문제. 가까이에. Near. 가까이에. 가까이에. Near. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. I live near the university. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. 멀리 far. 멀리 멀리 far 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. The station is far from here. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 작은 small 작은 작은 small 작은 실수 small mistake 작은 실수 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, 
custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae-hui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean phrases. Okay, let's see what we have first. 안녕하세요. Hello. This is the greeting that you can use for the formal situation. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say 안녕하세요, 만나서 반갑습니다, which means hello, it's nice to meet you. Or with your friend, you can just say 안녕 without 하세요, just to say hello to your friend. 여보세요, hello on the phone. You have to use a different phrase when you want to say hello on the phone. So say 띠리리리링, 안녕, 여보세요. 여보세요? That's... <laughs> so you cannot say 안녕하세요 when you're talking on the phone. It sounds weird. 오랜만이에요. Long time no see. When you just do shopping in the department store and you see someone you haven't met for a long time, you can just say 오랜만이에요 to mean long time no see. Or with friend, you can say 오랜만이야. Long time no see. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. Actually, it literally means please sleep well. So... You can use this phrase only with someone who is living together with you, like your parents. So to your parents, 안녕히 주무세요. <laughs> so at night, you can say, 안녕히 주무세요. Then your parents will be, and then you'll be, 잘 자, good night. So 잘 자 is informal way to say good night. So to your wife, to your husband, brother or sister, you can just say, 잘 자, and then you can just go back to sleep. 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye. There are two ways to say goodbye. This one is the one that you can use when you leave. Let's say you are invited to someone's house. You had a really great time. You leave. In that case, you can say 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 가세요. Goodbye. Let's say you are the host of the party. You invited everyone to your home, had a really great time, and then everyone is leaving now. You want to say 안녕히 가세요 because you stay everyone else is leaving. For example, you can say 안녕히 가세요, 와주셔서 감사합니다, which means goodbye, thank you for coming. 만나서 반가워요, nice to meet you. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say 안녕하세요, then say 만나서 반가워요. Or if someone is younger than you, you can just say 만나서 반가워 in informal way. So for those who, who just watched the video of me for the first time, let me say 만나서 반가워요. 모르겠어요. I do not know. Let's say on the street, you're in Seoul. Someone asks you something in Korean you don't know. You have no idea what he's talking about. Then you can just simply say 모르겠어요. I do not know. In informal way, 모르겠어. 감사합니다. Thank you. Let's say you got a gift and you can say 선물 감사합니다. Thank you for the gift. So you can just simply say 감사합니다 or the noun plus 감사합니다 to mean thank you for something. 고맙습니다. Thank you. You can say 감사합니다 or 고맙습니다 to say thank you, but if you want to make it sound more friendly, you can say 고맙습니다. 선물 고맙습니다. Thank you for the gift. 초대 감사합니다. Thank you for the invitation. 잠깐만 기다려주세요. Wait a moment, please. Let's say you're late and you see your bus is about to Leave. <웃음> 잠깐만 기다려주세요. <웃음> 죄송합니다. Sorry. 아, 죄송합니다. 아, 있어. 아, 죄송합니다. <웃음> 미안합니다. Sorry. Don't use this when you make a big mistake. But if it is not big, then you can just say 미안합니다. That's enough. So when you bump on the someone on the street, then you can say this. <웃음> 아, 미안합니다. Because it's not a big mistake. 알겠습니다. I understand. So let's say you made a huge mistake at your company and your boss will be like, 너 지금 뭐 하는 거야? 마마마마마. You can say, this, after listening to everything, you can say, 알겠습니다. I understand. Bum, bum. 선생님 질문 있어요. 선생님 이름이 뭐예요? 아, 알겠습니다. 잘 다녀오세요. Have a good journey. You can say that to those who are going to take a big trip. But usually, we also use that um, to a father who is about to go to work, and we just say, 잘 다녀오세요. 좋은 하루 되세요. Have a nice day. 잘 다녀오세요 literally means, please 
go out and come back safely. So you can say only when someone is leaving and you are staying in and waiting for that person. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? 이름이 뭐예요? <웃음> 이름이 뭐예요? 제휘예요. 아, 네. 이름이 뭐예요? 제휘입니다. 아, 알겠습니다. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? 제 이름은 응응입니다. My name is... <웃음> My name is... <웃음> 제 이름은 이재휘입니다. My name is 이재휘. 안녕. 어서 오세요. Welcome. So you got into the store and you hear 어서 오세요. Or 어서 오세요. Or you got a guest coming into your place. You can say 어서 오세요. Welcome. 실례합니다. Excuse me. You have to catch your bus and you have to go through the crowd. Then you have to say 실례합니다. 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 When you want to ask a question, you cannot say 실례합니다. Then your question. 잘 먹겠습니다. I will eat well. Thank you for the meal. You're at the restaurant, you got a lot of food, and you're about to eat. Before you eat, you have to say, 잘 먹겠습니다. Even if you're alone, you have to say, 잘 먹겠습니다. 아, 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹었습니다. I ate well. Thank you for the meal. 아, 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 아. 후, 잘 먹었습니다. When you leave a restaurant, you can say, 잘 먹었습니다. To the staff. To say thank you for the meal. 맛있게 드세요. Bon appetit. Let's say this is the food that I made with seaweed. Huge seaweed. Oh, 맛있게 드세요. 맛있게 드세요. 잘 먹겠습니다. I'm hungry. 이거 얼마예요? How much is this? So you go to your shopping. You found the item you really want to have, and then you can say 이거 얼마예요? 저거 얼마예요? 그거 얼마예요? Then you get the price, but don't accept that. You have to try the discount. Say 깎아주세요 to get your discount. That's all top 25 Korean phrases. Thank you for watching it, and please make sure to subscribe. 좋은 하루 보내세요. Have a nice day. 아, 잘 먹겠습니다. 이거 재미를 또. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 core Korean words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started! First is... 오늘 Today 오늘 오늘 Today 오늘의 숙제 Today's homework 오늘의 숙제 어제 Yesterday 어제 어제 yesterday 어제 아침 yesterday morning 어제 아침 내일 tomorrow 내일 내일 Tomorrow 내일 봐요 See you tomorrow 내일 봐요 주 
week 주 주, week. 이번 주는 바빠요. I'm busy this week. 이번 주는 바빠요. 년, year. 년. 년 year 1년 one year 1년 초 second 초 초, second. 일본에는 60초가 있습니다. There are 60 seconds in a minute. 일본에는 60초가 있습니다. 분, minute. 분, 분, 미니트, 삼 분, 삼 분, 삼 분, 시간. hour 시간 시간 hour 저는 매일 8시간을 잡니다. I sleep for 8 hours every day. 저는 매일 8시간을 잡니다. Sige clock Sige Sike clock Alam Sige Alam clock Alam Sike Tongkak O'clock Tongkak Tongkak O'clock Aopsi Tongkake Yogeso Banayo Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock Aopsi 정각에 역에서 만나요. 달력 calendar 달력 달력 calendar 달력에 우리 기념일을 적어 놨어요. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. 달력에 우리 기념일을 적어 놨어요. 월요일 Monday 월요일 월요일 Monday 월요일에는 회사에 가요. I go to work on Monday. 월요일에는 회사에 가요. 
화요일, Tuesday. 화요일, 화요일, Tuesday. 1월 1일 화요일, Tuesday, January 1st. 1월 1일 화요일. 수요일, Wednesday. 수요일, 수요일, Wednesday. 18일, 수요일, Wednesday, the 18th. 18일, 수요일. 목요일, Thursday. 목요일, 목요일. Thursday. 1월 3일, 목요일. Thursday, January 3rd. 1월 3일, 목요일. 금요일, Friday. 금요일, 금요일. Friday. 이번 주 금요일에 시간 있어요? Are you free this Friday? 이번 주 금요일에 시간 있어요? 토요일, Saturday. 토요일, 토요일, Saturday. 토요일 밤, Saturday night. 토요일 밤, 일요일, Sunday. 일요일. 일요일 Sunday 일요일 아침 식사 Sunday morning breakfast 일요일 아침 식사 하다 do 하다 하다 do 숙제를 하다 do homework 숙제를 하다 가다 go 가다 가다 Go. 공원에 가다. Go to the park. 공원에 가다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean nouns. Okay, let's see what we have first. Cup, a thing or an object. So when you're doing some shopping, you like something that you like, that you don't like, then you can say, 저는 이것이 좋아요, but 저는 저것이 싫어요. I do like this, I do like that. 
Su, way, method, number. It has three different meaning, method, way, numbers. For example, 사람 수가 많이 있다. In that case, su means number. And if you're in a big trouble and you don't know what to do, you can also say 수가 없다. 나, I. So this is the informal way to say I as a pronoun. So you can say 나는 나야. <laughs> I myself. <laughs> 나는 김치가 좋아. 나는 한국이 좋아. 나는 한국 사람이 좋아. Can be a good examples. But when you talk with someone older than you, you cannot say 나. Instead, you have to say 저, which is formal version to say I. 사람, person. When you talk about a person, don't use God because God is for a thing. So you cannot say 이것이 좋아 when you talk about someone you love. Uh, instead, you can say 이 사람이 좋아. 사람 means person. 우리, we or our. It literally means our or we, but even if it's only about myself talking about my country, then I will say 우리나라, meaning our country. Even though you are not Korean, I will just say our country, 우리나라, when talking about Korea. Even with your friend, you can say 우리 가족, literally meaning our family, even though you want to mean my family. The way to improve your Korean first is to use 우리 more often. 그, he, that. We usually don't use 그 or he, 그녀, she, when we make sentences because it doesn't sound natural to use a specific pronoun about the person. So when you hear 그, you can just think that it's about that, that person, 거, thing. This is a little bit casual way to say 것, which also means thing. 그거 주세요, 저거 주세요. 이거 싫어요, 저거 좋아요. When you talk with a friend, you just use 거, not 것. 년, ear. So when you talk about ear in Korean, you have to use this noun after numbers. For example, 2001년, the year of 2001. You cannot simply say 2001. So with the word, you can say, 저는 3년 전에 서울에 왔습니다. Which means, I came to Seoul three years ago. 한, one, or single. So when you want to talk about one something, like one place, one person, you can use this word with the other noun. For example, 한 사람, one person, 한 곳, a place. 말, words. When you talk about Korean, you can say 한국어, um, but also you can say 한국말, which literally means Korean words. So when you want to say I learn Korean, you can say both 한국어를 공부합니다 and 한국말을 공부합니다. So, and there's another word meaning horse with the same pronunciation, so make sure you understand it correctly. 일, work. So when Korean people want to ask you what is your job or what do you do, um, they will say 무슨 일 하세요? So here, 일 was used to mean work. And also Korean people have a lot of work, usually they work like more than 10 hours a day. They also have a lot of work to do. So in the case, I can say, 저도 일이 많이 있어요. <laughs> she, honorific suffix to mean Mr, Miss, Mrs. So let's say you want to call someone who is not your friend but whom you know their name. In that case, you can simply say their name and put she. But make sure that you don't put family name there like you do in English. You have to put their first name. So my family name is E. So if you just call me Ishi using my family name and that honorific suffix, it sounds rude. So don't do that. You can just call me um, Jehuishi using my first name instead of family name. We have another suffix, Nim, which is more formal than Shi. So you can use it when you call your teacher, like saying 선생님, 일, day. It has the same pronunciation of the word meaning work. Usually you can use it when you read the date. For example, you can say 7월 2일 to mean July 2nd. Or you can also find this word in the word like 내일, meaning tomorrow, and say 내일 이 좋아요, which means tomorrow is good. 사회, society. Korean people talk a lot about politics, and in that case, we use 사회 a lot. So if someone is critical about the situation going around um, Korean society, he might say, 한국 사회에는 문제가 많이 있다. 
or someone who say 한국 사회는 살기 좋다. 그것, that thing. So it has two words that we learned earlier. 그 meaning that, 것 meaning thing. So for example, when you don't know how to read something in Korean, you can just say 그것 어떻게 읽어요? 집, house, home. So if you're in Korea, you might hear some phrases like 우리 집에 놀러 와. So 집 literally means house, home. So even though you want to say my home, make sure to use the pronoun 우리 and say 우리 집. 문제, problem. For example, like when you take a test and the questions are so difficult, you can say 문제가 너무 어려워. 저, that. You can use this pronoun when you talk about something away from you. So when you do shopping and the item you want to have is far away from you, then you can say 저거, 속, inside. So usually you can use it when you talk about something inside of something. For example, 가방 속에 뭐가 있어요? Meaning, what's inside your bag? And there's another word meaning inside, which is 안, to mean the same. 대, place. For formal situation, we use 곧, but for casual, like informal, we use 대. For example, 먹을 때, placed it. 경우, case. To make you look more smart, you can use this word. For example, 이 경우, this case, 저 경우, that case, 중, center. So you can use this word when you want to say in the middle of something. For example, you can say 한국 음식 중에 뭐가 가장 좋아요? Uh, which literally means in the middle of Korean food, which one do you like the most? So usually it's used with a group of something. 자신, oneself. Unlike the English word oneself, like we usually use it when we give the advice. For example, 너 자신을 알라, which means you should know yourself. Usually we also use this word to mean confidence and say 자신 있다. One, Korean one. In Korean, you have to say won every time when you talk about money. For example, 이만 won, 이천 원. So when you want to exchange US dollar to won, you can just simply say 달러를 원으로 바꿔주세요. 사랑, love. In Korea, we usually try to be a little bit indirect when talking about love. So we usually use the phrase something like 사랑하는 사람, which means people who I love. So with the one, um, you can say 사랑해, I love you, or 사랑합니다, I love you formally. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean nouns that we have in this video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. <laughs>
I like bulgogi. Pay attention to the stresses. If you pronounce sentences like this in Korean, it will sound very unnatural. Listen to the native speaker say this sentence in Korean. 불고기가 좋아요. Native speakers do not place stress on any particular syllable. Try saying the sentence without stressing syllables. 불고기가 좋아요. Number four, using an R sound. This letter is often represented as an R or an L, but you do not pronounce it this way. In fact, there is no equivalent sound in English for it. Listen to a word that uses this letter. 사랑 사랑 It sounds closer to an L than an R in English. Listen again carefully. 사랑 사랑 We'll learn more about this in Lesson 6, so don't worry about it too much. Number 5. Reading bakjim as they are written. When reading blocks of Korean letters, you'll often find one written at the bottom of a block, like this one. This position is called bakjim, and letters in this position sometimes follow different pronunciation rules. Usually, a letter's pronunciation remains constant. When it is in the bakjim position, however, it sometimes changes. In this case, the letter, which is usually an S sound, becomes a T sound. Listen to the native speaker pronounce the letter in two different blocks. In the second one, she will pronounce it in the bachim position. Sa, sa. This principle applies to all consonants, except for a special group of nasal ones. Whenever these consonants are placed in the bachim position, you will need to pronounce them differently. Here's another example. This letter usually makes an H sound. In the bachim position, you need to read it as T. Listen to the native speaker. In this block, the letter appears both in the top and in the bachim position. Hot, hot. We'll cover this in greater detail in lesson 10. You're on the path to mastering Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, you'll master the seven Korean vowels. What's your biggest challenge with Korean pronunciation? Is it one of these top five mistakes? Let us know in the comments. Stick with us and you'll overcome it quickly. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everyone! Welcome to the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. So far, we've introduced you to the basics and covered the top five mistakes Korean learners make and how to avoid them. In this lesson, you'll learn how to pronounce Korean vowels correctly. Do you remember there are 10 basic vowels in Korean? In this lesson, you're going to learn seven vowels that sound similar to vowels in English. Here's the first vowel. Ah. Open your mouth wide as if you're at the dentist and relax your tongue, then try to say ah. 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 The next vowel is O. Oh. Think of the O sound in orange. Round the lips as if you're surprised. Oh. 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 And the next vowel is Oh. Purse your lips as though you are about to whistle or blow up a balloon or say ooh as in blue. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. The lips are more relaxed for the Korean ooh sound than the English ooh. Compare the Korean ooh with the English ooh. 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 
The next vowel is e. Open your mouth as if you were trying to show your teeth and say the letter e. Say it like the e in meat, but shorter. E. 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 Now, review the four vowels that we've just learned so far. Repeat each vowel after hearing the pronunciation from our native speaker. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. O. 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 E. E. Okay, now let's move on. The next three vowels you will learn look like this. These three vowels look very similar to the ones that you just learned. The only difference is that they each have an extra stroke attached to them. Listen to how the pronunciation of the vowels change when the small stroke is added. Ah. Yeah. This small stroke adds a Y sound to the beginning of the original sound. Compare the pronunciation of these two letters once again. Ah. Yeah. When you say this letter, don't pronounce the Y sound for too long. Listen to the pronunciation again. Yeah. 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 The next vowel is U. Take the original U sound and add a Y to make U. Together, they sound almost the same as U in English, but with a shorter Y. U. You. 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 And the next vowel is you. Again, add a short Y sound to the O. Listen to the pronunciation again. You. You. Yo. Yo. Now, review the three basic vowels that have Y at the beginning. Repeat each vowel after hearing the pronunciation from our native speaker. Ya. Ya. You. You. Yo. Yo. Make sure you master these sounds because you'll need these vowels to properly speak in Korean. Was seeing the pronunciation illustrations helpful? Please comment and share your thoughts. We'll learn the rest of the vowels which have no English equivalent in our next lesson. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome back to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. Two lessons ago, we learned to count from 1 to 10 using Chinese numbers. In the last lesson, we learned the whole other way to count from 1 to 10 using native Korean numbers. Do you remember all these numbers? Let's see if you can recall the native ones first. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Great job! And how about the Chinese numbers? Do you remember those? 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오, 육, 칠, 팔, 구, 십. Phew, that's a lot of numbers. But I bet you are wondering what comes next, right? Well, if you think about it, 11 is just 10 plus 1. How would you say that in Korean? No need to overthink it. 10 plus 1 equals 11. So 11 is 11. And how about 12? 10 
10 plus e 2 equals 12. So 12 is 12. Seem too easy to be true? It's not. And it doesn't get any harder when you hit 20. 20 is really just two tens. Multiply 2 e by 10 10 to get 20 e 10. Just as you'd expect. 30 is 30. 40 is 40. And so on. Now that you know how to count tens, you can make it all the way to 99. For example, I bet you can tell me the Korean word for 87, even though we haven't counted nearly that high yet. Can you? First, we need to say 80. 80 is 8 tens, so 80 is 80. Finally, say the word for 7. 7. 87 is 87. Let's learn one more word. The Korean word for 100 is 100. 100. Can you guess how to say 150 in Korean? 100 is 100. And 50 is 50. So 150 is? That's right. It's 150. And I'm sure you can figure out how to say 250. Great job! Now it's time for Amy's insights. You just learned how to count above 10 for Chinese numbers, but it works the exact same way for native numbers. 11 is 열 하나. 열 is 10 and 하나 is 1. 12 is 열 둘. 열 is 10 and 둘 is 2 and so on. In the next lesson, we're going to learn the handy phrase 얼마예요? Do you know what it means? We'll see this phrase and many others that will help you shop. I'll be waiting for you in our next 3분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to KoreanClass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned how to thank people by saying 감사합니다 and 고마워. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Korea. Are you ready? Then let's start. The most common informal greeting is 안녕. 안녕. 안녕 means peace. We say it when we meet someone and also when we leave, but only to a friend or someone younger than us. The more standard greeting that you will hear a lot in Korea is 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Literally, 안녕하세요 means are you at peace? We use it to say hello when we meet someone. It's technically a question, but we don't always say it that way. 안녕하세요. Because 안녕하세요 is a question, some people answer it with 예, which means yes, before replying with the same question 안녕하세요. When it's time to leave, we have a couple different ways to say goodbye. If you're leaving and the other person is staying, say 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. 계세요 means please stay. So 안녕히 계세요 literally means please stay peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 계세요 is 잘 있어. 잘 means well and 있어 means stay informally. So 잘 있어 just means stay well. 잘 있어. If the other person is leaving, say 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. 가세요 means please go. So 안녕히 가세요 literally means please go peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 가세요 is 잘 가. 잘 means well and 가 means go informally. So 잘가 just means go well. 
Now you know lots of ways to greet people in Korean. Let's review them all once again. To greet someone casually, 안녕. To greet someone respectfully, 안녕하세요. To say goodbye respectfully when you're leaving and the other person is staying, 안녕히 계세요. To say goodbye casually when you're leaving, 잘 있어. To say goodbye respectfully when the other person is leaving, 안녕히 가세요. To say goodbye casually when the other person is leaving, 잘 가. During the next lesson, we will learn the meaning of the phrase 영어를 할수 있어요? Do you already know it? We'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our new 3분 한국어 lesson. 여러분 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 웃다, laugh. 웃다, 웃다, laugh. 커플이 농담에 웃었다. The couple is laughing at a joke. 커플이 농담에 웃었다. 맛있어요. Delicious. 맛있어요. 맛있어요. Delicious. 중국 음식은 맛있어요. Chinese food is delicious. 중국 음식은 맛있어요. 물, water, 물, 물, water. 물좀 마실 수 있을까요? Can I have some water, please? 물좀 마실 수 있을까요? 차 T 차 차. T. Ta handan hasigesimika. Would you like a cup of tea? Ta handan hasigesimika. Coffee. 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 Coffee Han Zan. Cup of coffee. Coffee Han Zan. Bekju. Beer. Bekju. Bekju. Beer. T. 
차가운 맥주 cold beer 차가운 맥주 포도주 wine 포도주 포도주 wine 포도주 한잔 glass of wine 포도주 한잔 쇠고기 beef 쇠고기 쇠고기 beef 쇠고기 스테이크 beef steak 쇠고기 스테이크 닭고기 chicken 닭고기 닭고기 chicken 닭고기는 튀길 수도 있고 구울 수도 있습니다. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. 닭고기는 튀길 수도 있고 구울 수도 있습니다. 돼지고기 Pork 돼지고기 돼지 고기 pork 포크는 돼지 고기입니다. pork is the meat from a pig. 포크는 돼지 고기입니다. 생선 fish 생선 생선 fish 닭고기와 생선 요리 중 무엇을 드시겠습니까? chicken or fish 닭고기와 생선 요리 중 무엇을 드시겠습니까? 양고기 lamb 양고기 양고기 lamb 양고기는 대단히 맛있습니다. lamb is extremely delicious. 양고기는 대단히 맛있습니다. 의사 doctor 의사 의사 doctor 혹시 몸이 아프면 의사에게 진찰을 받으세요. If you get sick, go to the doctor. 혹시 몸이 아프면 의사에게 진찰을 받으세요. 경찰관 Police officer 경찰관 경찰관 police officer 경찰관에게 도움을 청할게요. I will ask a police officer for help. 경찰관에게 도움을 청할게요. 선생님 teacher 선생님 
선생님 teacher 영어 선생님 English teacher 영어 선생님 직원 employee 직원 직원 employee 여직원 female employee 여직원 오다 come 오다 오다 come 여자아이가 비디오 카메라를 향해 온다 The girl came towards the video camera 여자아이가 비디오 카메라를 향해 온다 보다 C 보다 보다 C 관광객이 일몰을 보았다 The tourist saw the sunset. 관광객이 일몰을 보았다. 만들다. make. 만들다. 만들다. make. 요리사가 오렌지 주스를 만든다. The chef makes orange juice. 요리사가 오렌지 주스를 만든다. 사용하다. Use. 사용하다. 사용하다. Use. 프로그래머가 컴퓨터를 사용하고 있다. The programmer is using a computer. 프로그래머가 컴퓨터를 사용하고 있다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Korean including 죄송합니다 and 미안해 In this lesson, we are going to learn some numbers Yes, numbers! 숫자 There are actually two systems of counting in Korean in this lesson, you're going to learn the Chinese-based numbers 1 to 10. And you're going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 3분. Are you ready? Then let's start. 1 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, 
chip, ten, chip. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great job! What comes before 1? Do you know how to say zero in Korean? It's young. But in phone numbers, it's often said kung. Young, kung. Imagine someone tells you a phone number. Can you understand it? Kung, il, kung. Sam, il, chil, o. Sa, i, yuk, pal. Now it's time for Amy's insights. As we mentioned earlier, Korean has two systems of counting, the Chinese-based one we are learning now and the native Korean one. The Chinese-based one is easier, so we are learning it first. But we will learn the native Korean counting system in the very next Hanbun Hanguka lesson. See you then! 다음에 또 만나요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned the most common greetings in Korean. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Korean, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Are you ready? Then let's start! Here's the basic way to ask whether someone speaks English. 영어 하세요? 영어 하세요? 영어 means English, and 하세요 means do you do? So 영어 하세요? means, do you do English? If you want to be a little more specific and ask about someone's ability to speak English, you can say, 영어 할수 있어요? 할수 있어요 means, can you do? Can you do English? 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? This sentence could be very helpful if you're in trouble on the street, in a restaurant, or a hotel. No matter where you are, if you're looking for someone who can speak English, just ask. If you want to be super polite, just add 실례하지만, which means excuse me but 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me but do you speak English? 실례하지만 영어 하세요? The response will probably be like one of these three. Yeah? Yes? Yeah, 조금이요, just a little. 조금이요, 아니 못해요, no I don't. 아니 못해요. Since this last one is a negative statement about ability, we add 못, an adverb meaning can't. 못해요 means I can't. Now it's time for Amy's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. 일본어 for Japanese, 중국어 for Chinese, 스페인어 for Spanish, 독일어 for German, 프랑스어 for French. If you want to say do you speak German, you can simply replace 영어 with 독일어. 독일어 하세요? Do you speak German? 독일어 하세요? In this lesson, we mentioned the word 실례합니다, meaning excuse me. In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Korean. 
It's never too late to show your good manners to Korean people. I'll see you in our next Hanbun Hangugo lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to KoreanClass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned the Chinese base numbers from 1 to 10. Have you already forgotten them? I'll tell you again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's great that you can count to 10, but did you know there's a whole other way to do that? That's right, in addition to the numbers based on Chinese characters, there are also the native Korean numbers that we have been using before we even had Chinese characters. Here they are. 하나, 원, 하나. 둘, 두, 둘. 셋, 3, 셋. Net, four, net. Tasot, five, tasot. Yosot, six, yosot. Ilgop, seven, ilgop. Yodar, eight, yodar. Ahop, nine, ahop. Yar, ten, yar. Which one do we use? We use both. Some things are counted using Chinese based numbers and other things using native Korean numbers. For example, when telling time, we say the hour using a native Korean number and the minute using a Chinese-based number. So let's practice these numbers and learn how to say times too. Here's how to say the hour first. 3 o'clock is 3시. 3시. The native Korean number 3 is 3. But we shorten it to 세 when we put it before a counter like 시. The last consonant 시옷 of 셋 disappeared when it meets the counting unit. When you add 하나, 원, 둘, 두, 셋, 3, 넷, 4 with counting units, the last vowel or consonant of each number will disappear. So 하나 is 1. But 1 o'clock is 한시. When 하나 meets the counting unit 시, the last vowel 아 disappears. 둘 is 2. But 2 o'clock is 두시. The last consonant 리을 disappeared. 넷 is 4. But 4 o'clock is 네시. Same thing here. The last consonant 시옷 disappeared. This rule is only for number 1 to 4. Otherwise, it is simply the Korean number plus 시. 10시, 10 o'clock, 7시, 7 o'clock. Now that you know how to say the hour, let's say the minute. The counter for minutes in Korean is 분. Be sure to use a Chinese-based number with this counter. Do you know how to say 310 in Korean? It's just... 3시 10분 3 in native numbers plus the word for hour 3시 then 10 in Chinese numbers 10 and finally the word for minutes 분 3시 10분 A little confusing, right? Don't worry, you will get the hang of it soon enough. Just remember that for hours we use Korean numbers and for minutes we use Chinese numbers. Now it's time for Amy's insights. Here are some other suffixes used to count things. 명 for people, 한 명, 두 명, 번 for the number of times something happens, 한 번, 두 번. In the next lesson, we're finally going to break 10 and learn the numbers from 11 to 100. You definitely don't want to miss it. So join us next time for more 3분 한국어. 다음에 또 만나요.
this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? Hello, how have you been? 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? Excuse me, how much is this? 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. I'm sorry. It was a typo. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. Good night, Grandma. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? It's been a long time. How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? 네. Yes. 네. 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 Yes. 네, 이거로 주세요. Yes, this one, please. 네, 이거로 주세요. 아니요? No. 아니요? 아니요? 
No. Aniyo, 아직 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't eaten yet. Aniyo, 아직 안 먹었어요. 고마워요. Thank you. 고마워요. 고마워요. Thank you. 초대해줘서 고마워요. Thank you very much for the invitation. 초대해줘서 고마워요. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 소피입니다. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 존입니다. I'm John. 저는 존입니다. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. Goodbye. See you again. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. Be careful of bad people. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. 좋은 Good 좋은 좋은 Good 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. My teacher is a good person. 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. 예쁜 Pretty 예쁜 예쁜 Pretty 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. I have a pretty girlfriend. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. 못생긴 Ugly 못생긴 못생긴 Ugly 못생긴 얼굴 Ugly face. 못생긴 얼굴. 쉬운. Easy. 쉬운. 쉬운. Easy. 쉬운 시험. Easy exam. 쉬운 시험. 어려운. Difficult. 어려운. 어려운. Difficult. 어려운 문제. Difficult problem. 
어려운 문제 가까이에 near 가까이에 가까이에 near 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. I live near the university. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. 멀리 far 멀리 멀리 far 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. The station is far from here. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 작은 small 작은 작은 small 작은 실수 small mistake 작은 실수 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hello everyone, koreanclass101.com, Hana Hana Hangul series, Amy. Hi everyone, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on koreanclass101.com, the fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we started on the consonants and learned three of them. Today, we are going to add four more consonants and learn how to write more Korean words and phrases. Our first consonant today is Nian. Ni. Ni. Na. Na. No. No. Nya. Nya. Nyo. Nyo. Nu. Nu. No. No. Nu. Nu. New, 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 new. You can think of this character's shape as a tongue pressed against teeth, which is what you do when you make this sound. Try to make this sound and notice the position of your tongue. With this consonant, you can now write two important Korean pronouns. First, na, which means I or me. Second is, 너, which is an informal way to say you. We can also write the question word. 누구, which means who. Next up is 비긋. 디, 디, 다, 다, 더, 더. 掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉掉
all the where. Remember that in our last lesson, we added a one more stroke to kiok in order to make the aspirated version kiok. We will do the same thing with tikut, adding one more stroke to make the aspirated version tiut. T T Ta 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 Tia 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 you can probably guess the meaning of the next word after hearing it. Kita. It means guitar. Korean has many of these words that come from English with a slight change in pronunciation, such as sticker, artist, and toki. One more consonant today, and that's real. Ri Ri Ra Ra Ro Ro Ria Ria Rio Rio Ru 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 Rio Rio Ru Rio its pronunciation falls somewhere between the English L and R. Think about this shape like a marble rolling down a track. Real. Here's one more pronoun that you can write today. Uri, which means we or us. You can use this word for both formal and informal situations. And here's the Korean word for radio which is almost exactly like English. Let's finish this lesson now with a short dialogue. Yep, you now know enough Hangul in vocabulary words to read and write a short exchange between two people. We've learned these words in the previous lessons. Can you read this? Let's look at the first sentence. The first two syllables are all the, which means where. We learned that one earlier today. The next two syllables are from last lesson, and they mean I'm going, Kayo. But if you add a question mark and read the last syllable with a rising tone, the whole sentence means where are you going, 어디 가요? The second sentence ends with the same two characters, but without a question mark. Kayo. And the first two characters is Hyuga, the Korean word for vacation that we learned last lesson. So what do you think the sentence means? Hyuga gayo. I'm going on vacation. Wow, after only five lessons, you've come a long way. Just think what you will know in another five lessons. But don't forget to take things step by step, reviewing along the way. When you are ready, I'll see you in the next lesson where you will learn even more consonants. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. <목소리> 안녕하세요, 여러분. KoreanClass101.com 하나하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome to 하나하나 한글 on KoreanClass101.com The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these four consonants. You now know well over half of the characters in written Korean. And we will learn another three today. Ready? Let's go! Our first character is really easy to remember. It's just a square. Mium. 
มีมีมามาเมียเมียมอโมเมียเมียมือมือมือมือมิวมิวโมโมเมียเมียโมเมียเมียโมเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียเมียบอดี้ this means head let's look at this character again think of this like a box now press the top of it down until the air inside it is under more pressure what does an mm sound like when it's under more pressure b p p pa pa พี่พี่พ่อพ่อพี่พี่พื้นพื้นพูพูพี่พี่พูพูพี่พี่ Here's a word that you will often hear on Korean TV. ป้าปู This means fool. It can either be playful or rude, depending on how it's said. So be careful. Let's go back to our box under pressure. If we add any more pressure, it might explode, and then it would look like this. What's a b sound like with even more pressure? P. พี่พี่พาพาพี่พี่พอพอพี่พี่พื้นพื้นพูพูพี่พี่พื้นพื้นพื้นพื้น Try reading this word. p i b u This means skin. And here is a phrase that you might have to use in Korea. a p a y o It means I'm sick or it hurts. You can use some words from past lessons to make this sentence more advanced. In the last lesson, we learned the word "wear," o d i You can add this to the phrase and get o d i a p a y o Literally, it means "where does it hurt?" And you already know a few body part words. Remember the word for head, m o d i So, how would you say your head hurts? We can say m o d i a p a y o My head hurts, or I have a headache. Any other body parts we know? It's a little strange, but we just learned the word for skin. Pibu, pibu apayo. My skin hurts. Nice work. You might have started watching to learn the Korean writing system, but you're also getting a jump start on general Korean knowledge. If you haven't tried out the audio lessons on KoreanClass101.com, now's a great chance to try out some real-life conversations, and you will learn the final three consonants in the next lesson. You are only one lesson away from knowing all the unique shapes in Korean. After that, it's just a matter of positioning those shapes around to create different words. Be sure not to miss the next lesson of Hana Hana Hangul. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 만나요.
안녕하세요 여러분 KoreanClass101.com 하나하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다 Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul and KoreanClass101.com The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet In the last lesson, we learned these three consonants, only three more basic characters left And we will learn them all in this lesson All three of today's characters are related in shape and in sound We will start with the simplest one, Siut Si, si, sa, sa, so, so, sha, sha, sho, sho, su, su, so, so, su, su, sho, sho, shu, shu. It's pronounced. And you can think of the shape like an upside down seesaw. Here's a short sentence which means I buy. Sayo. You can make this sentence more complex by putting a noun in front of it. So, note two. Is note. I buy notes would be note 사요 우유 means milk so I buy milk would be 우유 사요 we will learn some new nouns in this lesson that we can put into this pattern the next character is like 씻 with a line at the top and it's pronounced 쯔 or 쯔 지, 지, 자, 자, 저, 저, 자, 자, 저, 저, 즈, 즈, 조, 조, 주, 주, 조, 조, 주, 주. You might see this character written this way, depending on which typeface is used. So be ready for it. Now you can write lion in Korean. 사자 To write the last basic character, just add another stroke on top of the 지 This is 치 치. 치. 자, 자, 저, 저, 차, 차, 저, 저, 츠, 츠, 초, 초, 주, 주, 초, 초, 주, 주. Here's car in Korean. 차, and here's cheese. 치즈, we can combine 치즈 with the sentence we learned earlier, 사요, to make 치즈 사요, I buy cheese. What else can you buy? 모자 사요, I buy a hat. 차 사요, I buy a car. 바지 사요, I buy pants. 치마 사요, I buy a skirt. You've learned all the basic characters, but your hunger journey doesn't end here. You now have all the raw materials, but there's still more to learn about putting things together. Don't worry, you've made it this far, so just stick with me a few more lessons and you will know everything there is to know about hunger. In the next lesson, we'll do a thorough review of the last six lessons and smooth out any problems you may be having and learn a few points about pronunciation. See you next time! 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요!
안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Korean. Today, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Are you ready? Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the most common phrase, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다 means, I do thanks or thank you. To say thank you very much, you just need to add 대단히, which means very much or greatly. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 means greatly, so 대단히 감사합니다 is like saying thank you very much. In the last lesson, we saw that Korean has formal and informal ways of speaking. 감사합니다 is pretty formal. If you want to thank someone more casually, you can use a shorter phrase. 고마워 고마워 Let's break down those phrases. In the formal way of saying thank you, 감사합니다. 감사 means thank you. And 합니다 is a formal way to say to do. So 감사합니다 means I do thanks. And to make it less formal, we swap out 감사 with a different verb. That's 고마워. It has the same meaning of thank you, but it's more friendly. When someone thanks you, how should you answer? There's no set response like you're welcome in English. But there are a few things that you can say. The first thing is 아니에요. 아니에요. You literally are saying no. But this is a common and informal way to respond to someone thanking you. You're telling the person that there's nothing to bother thanking you for. There's another phrase that's used to respond to thank you in Korean. 천만해요. 천만해요. But it's not used all that often. You're better off with 아니에요 in most situations. Now it's time for Amy's insights. 감사합니다 sounds formal. 고마워 sounds informal. What if you want to sound kind of formal but still kind of friendly? In that case, you can upgrade the informal 고마워 to 고마워요. You see, you simply add 요 at the end. 요 is the sentence ending particles that make sentences more polite. This is a nice way to thank your waiter. 고마워요. Have you ever heard the phrase 안녕히 계세요 before? In our next lesson, you will learn this and more greetings in Korean. 여러분 감사합니다. 다음에 봐요. If you've ever wanted to sing Korean songs, write a letter in Korean, be able to get around in Korea, or just jumpstart your Korean learning, you're in the right place even if you're an absolute beginner to Korean. By the time you're done with this series, you'll be able to read and write Hangul like a pro. And you'll get a feel for Korean culture and learn some vocabulary at the same time. We will start by covering the 10 vowels and 14 consonants of written Korean. As you learn these components, you will also get plenty of practice writing and reading them with example words. Then we will talk about double consonants and vowels, the pachim, and the pronunciation rules that will help you speak like a native. By the end of this series, you will be able to understand the language on a whole new level and have completed an important milestone in mastering Korean. Hana Hana means step by step in Korean. And that's just how we're going to tackle the Hangul. Just watch these videos, review what you've learned using the resources on koreanclass101.com. And you're on your way to mastering Hangul. We will start with some very good news. Hangul is easy. For one thing, it has much fewer characters than, say, Japanese or Chinese. There are only 24. We use these 24 characters in different combinations to form syllables.
each block of characters equals one syllable. Here's an important rule you need to know about these blocks. Each block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. You will see what we mean when we start to look at some characters. In Hangul, there are 10 vowels and 14 consonants. Today, you will learn two of the vowels and one consonant. Are you ready? Your first vowel is E. 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 This is pretty easy, right? Practice writing this character as you say the pronunciation out loud. As you say this simple sound, it might surprise you to know that you're actually saying a Korean word. This word means teeth, E. So how would you write this word? Like this? Nope. Remember the rule we mentioned earlier? Every block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. But in this case of E, there is no consonant, so instead we put a placeholder. The circle called an ian acts as a placeholder for the consonant. So whenever you have a vowel on its own, this placeholder comes before it. Draw the e vowel to the right of the placeholder. So when you want to write the word e or the syllable e in the middle of another word, this is how you would write it. Pretty easy so far, right? Now, if you take the last character and add a short stroke to the right side, it becomes your second vowel, a. Ah. 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 As you practice the pronunciation, try to associate the sound with the character. Writing it while saying it really helps. Pop quiz! With what you know so far, try to figure out how to write this Korean word. A -E. Once more, A -E. This is the character you just learned followed by the first character you learned today. Remember what we learned about the placeholders? You need to put the placeholder circles next to each vowel sound when they stand on their own. And that's how you write A -E, which is the Korean word for child. A -E. Are you starting to get the hang of it? You've just finished your first Hangul lesson and you've learned three of the 24 basic characters. In the next lesson, you will learn three more. Keep taking it hana hana step by step and keep practicing with the koreanclass101.com. You will be surprised how fast you master Korean writing. 여러분 다음에 만나요. You're off to a great start on your Korean language journey. Just take this lesson step by step. Make sure you review after each one, and soon you will be reading Korean like a pro. Here's a great way to review what you've learned. Look at some actual Korean writing. You may not know the meanings or most of the characters, but practice recognizing what you have learned. After each lesson, you'll recognize a little bit more. Today, you're going to learn three more vowels. Let's get started. First, here are the characters you learned in the last lesson. A, E, and Iung. Your next character looks pretty similar. So pay attention to the differences. A. Listen carefully to the pronunciation. A. A. Now pay attention to these two characters. It might be easy to confuse the two. If the small strokes is on the left, it is a. Uh. 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 If it is on the right, it is a. Uh. 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 If you can remember this one point, the rest of this lesson will be easy. The next character is this. Ya. Yeah. Listen carefully to the pronunciation. Yo. Yo. This sound has a lot in common with the last character sound, doesn't it? The only difference is the Y sound in Yo. The second short stroke will add a Y sound. You will see this pattern pop up again in the next character. So if this is A, uh, what would this character be? 
Can you guess? The answer is ya. 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 The second short stroke will add a Y sound. Take a look at these four similar characters together. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yo. Yo. Ya. Ya. Can you remember these characters? Here are a few vocabulary words to practice. Can you read this word? This is ya, which is an informal way to say hey in Korean. You might hear this word in Korean drama or songs. Ya. How about this? This is aya, which means ouch. Great job. You made it through another lesson. And now know half of the vowels in Korean. Keep practicing and soon we will be able to read Korean quickly and naturally. Remember this from the beginning of the lesson? After just three more vowels, you should be able to recognize much more of it. Try to recognize these characters in some real-life Korean around you. In the next lesson, you will learn the rest of the vowels. In the meantime, keep reviewing what you've learned, and I'll see you later. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. In this lesson, you will finish up the Korean vowels. With a solid understanding of the 10 vowel sounds, pronouncing Korean will become really easy. So make sure to review until you feel completely confident. Compare these five new vowels to the five you already know. What's the obvious difference? The answer is that the vowels we learned before all have a long vertical stroke, and these new vowels have a long horizontal stroke. In fact, if you rotated the first five vowels, you would end up with the new vowels we are going to learn today. When writing syllables in Korean, it's important to think about whether the vowel you are using is a tall vowel or a fat vowel. The reason is that the way you assemble the characters into blocks will change depending on the shape of the vowel. For example, you know what to do when the vowel is tall, right? You add the consonant to the left of the vowel. But if the vowel is fat, you would add the consonant on top. Think about it like this. You need to fill up a square so the consonant adjusts to fill the rest of the space. Here is your first fat vowel, O. 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 Here's a good way to remember this one. The small stroke is over the long stroke. O. Flip that character over and you get the next vowel, U. 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 You can remember this pronunciation by thinking of the small stroke being under the large stroke. How about some vocabulary words? Can you read this word? This is oi, which means cucumber. How about this word? This is yao, which means fox. You now know four vowels that are made from a long stroke and a short stroke. Take a look at them together. From the top going clockwise, you have O, O, A, A, U, U, O, O. When you add another short stroke, a Y sound is added to the front of these sounds. Add another short stroke to O, and it becomes Yo, Yo. Yo. Likewise, take U and add another short stroke and it becomes U. 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 Can you read these four vowels now? Counterclockwise from the top. Yo. 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 Ya. Ya. One more. U. Uh, uh. The shape of this vowel actually resembles the shape of your mouth when you say it. Now for some example words. 
Can you read this? This is uyu, which means milk. And this? This is yo. It's a formal sentence ending particle. You put it at the end of a sentence to make it polite. For example, uyu yo. How about this word? It's eu, which means reason. There you go. You've just learned all the basic vowels in Korean. These vowels will appear in every single syllable of Korean. So the more you know them now, the easier future lessons will be. In the next lesson, you will start learning consonant sounds. This is where your Korean ability will really start to take off. So be sure to watch the next lesson at koreanclass101.com. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. In this series, 한분 한국어, we are going to learn basic Korean expressions. It's super easy and it takes only three minutes. First of all, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Korean. There are a few different ways to do it depending on how formal you want to be. Let's first look at an informal way to introduce yourself. 안녕, Amy야. 반가워. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. 안녕, Amy야. 반가워. Here, 안녕 means peace. So literally, you say peace to say hello in Korean. Next, you can say your name, then add the sentence ending particle, ya. My name is Amy, so I say, Amy ya. Finally, you say, 반가워. 반가워 means, nice to meet you. Now you try it. Start by saying, 안녕. Then say your name, followed by, ya. If your name is David, you can say, 데이비드야. Finally, say, 반가워. 안녕, 데이비드야. 반가워. Now let's see a formal version. 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. What has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. First, 안녕 has to change to 안녕하세요. 하세요 is the verb meaning to do. If you add 하세요 next to 안녕, it becomes more formal and polite. 안녕하세요. Next, you can replace the particle 야 with 에요. Both of them are sentence ending particles and you can put them after nouns, but ya is informal and eyo is formal. So if you say eimieyo instead of eimiya, you can introduce your name in more formal way. Finally, pangawayo. Do you remember how to say nice to meet you in the informal way? Pangawa. Here, you can simply add the particle yo at the end of the verb, then it becomes formal. Yo is a particle that can make a sentence polite. 반가워요. One more time. The formal way to introduce yourself is 안녕하세요. 에이미예요. 반가워요. The informal way to introduce yourself is 안녕, 에이미야. 반가워. Now it's time for Amy's insights. When you introduce yourself in Korea, it's polite to make a small bow. If you're a guy, bow with your hands at your sides. If you're a girl, bow with your hands in front of you. Bow from the waist. You don't have to dip down very far. Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? You will learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. 다음에 봐요. See you then. In this lesson, you will begin to add consonants to the 10 vowels you've already learned. By the end, you'll be able to read and write 40 different syllables, which will unlock many more Korean words. Ready for your first consonant? Here it is. 기억. 
When making syllables, the consonant goes where the circle from the last lessons used to go. Can you guess how these are read? Ki. Ki. Ka. Ka. Kya. Kya. Ko. Ko. Kyo. Kyo. Ku. 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 Kyu. Kyu. Ko. Ko. Kyo. Kyo. Remember how some Korean vowels look and sound similar? For example, add another stroke to a and you get ya. The same thing happens with the consonants. In this case, add one more stroke to our last character and we get a very similar sound, kya. Ki. Ki. Ka. Ka. Kya. Kya. Ko. Ko. Kyo. Kyo. Ku. Ku. Ko. Ko. Kyo. Kyo. Ku. Ku. Kyu. Kyu. Can you hear the difference? Ki. 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 The difference is subtle, but it's there. If you're having a hard time, don't worry. We will go into the details of pronunciation in lesson 8. So don't miss it. One more consonant today. Hyut. He. He. Ha. Ha. Hya. Hya. Ho. Ho. Hyo. Hyo. Hu. Hu. Ho. Ho. Hyo. Hyo. Hu. Hu. Hyu. Hyu. You can think of this shape as a hat on a hat, which might help you remember the pronunciation. Now it's time for a few simple words. Can you read all of this correctly? How about this phrase? It's yogyo. It means here please or excuse me. Use it while you are in a Korean restaurant and you want to call the waiter over to your table. Yogyo. And this one. It's kayo. This means I'm going. How about this word? Hyuga. It means vacation. To create a more complex sentence, Hyuga gayo. I'm going on vacation. After just four lessons, you're already writing sentences in Korean. Just think what you can learn in a few more. Be sure to watch the next lesson on koreanclass101.com. Now that you're finished with this lesson, don't forget, as a free bonus, you get over 30 conversation cheat sheets, but only if you sign up via the link in the description. You'll learn how to have flowing conversations and how to answer the most common questions. You can also print out these colorful cheat sheets to keep as physical study material. So don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get your PDF cheat sheets.